As I'm a gamer, I really enjoy the atmosphere here. Whenever we do a walk-in, I get goosebumps. When the opening show starts, I get goosebumps. I really feel what the audience feels. That's one of the greatest things I like. And I don't want to do anything else anymore. I'm Oliver Erbe. I'm the stage manager of the ESL broadcasts for Counter-Strike mainly. Welcome to my world. It's not my job, it's my passion. <laughs> When I was like 12, I won a computer, a Commodore C16, on a contest from a shoe shop. <laughs> it catched me right from the very first time. Since that, I'm into computers and gaming. I moved to Cologne around 2000 really fell in love with Cologne from the very first time. I like the culture of Cologne. I like the people, they are very, very friendly. It's a million citizen city, so it's very big, but it's not spread into many districts. I love to go by bike. You can go through the city, always being on a green stripe through a park or whatever. You can re reach everything. So I don't have a car since almost 15 years anymore because you don't need it anymore. I love that. Being here in my hometown is special for me because this is actually my favorite event. I feel like this is my home game. Yeah, that gives me excitement. The Lanxus Arena, they call it the Cathedral Counter-Strike and you'd be wrong to call it anything else. I'm ready to kick off today's Grand Final. A lot of things to discuss, a lot of activities, however, to also check into here if you find yourself at the Lanxus. My name is Trace and I'll be leading the show. As we get started though, I've got to tell you, we've got a bruiser on hand today. That's Navi on one side, FaZe on the other, and a discussion that's going to carry us right into the player break. I can tell you, in all of esports, this weekend, this is the place to be. This is the Intel Extreme Masters Clone 2022 Grand Finals. When an event starts, I talk to the producer, how he wants to have everything rolling. In general, I make sure everybody is at the right spot at the right time. The extra thrill for me is to deliver in time, having those segments that are very packed. Wanting to lift that trophy for the third time, containing the GOAT. Please welcome your first team, Cologne. It's Navi! These events are all life and I love the positive stress to deliver in time. The events themselves are pretty exhausting. You have to deliver, you have to be aware, you have to be on point all the time. As this is very exhausting to me. I really enjoy my free time by doing computer games, <laughs> not playing computer games.
What I really like with computer games, I can dive into it and relax. I can be an astronaut, I can be whatever I want to. My whole life is overworked in, my, in the back of my head and I can really shut down and relax while I'm playing computer games. Sometimes uh, my fiancé, for example, is annoyed of that. If she asks me a question, I might reply just one or two minutes later. I, I really love that, I really enjoy that, and I can't imagine to stop playing computer games. I'm really much into sports. And one of my latest hobbies is shooting a bow, doing archery. I can take it away. Shooting a bow is similar to playing computer games. It's very meditative. You have to concentrate on every step you do. It helps me to calm down and relax. We have gone the distance here in Cologne. Three years completely locked out of the access, back in business, and so are Faiz and Narvi. At the end of the day, I'm really looking forward to coming back to the arena. I try to spend as much time in the audience as I can. I like the action. I really like the action. Combination of IEM Cologne 2022 is now. You saw it when the teams were in the huddle. Oh, the elbow spotted here from Simple and punishing them now. You're not going to save anything. This is beautiful stuff out the gates here. A 4-0 clean sweep to start. Face know they have to get past this Navi four spike. Try and level the odds. Simple not ready for that. Twists, pulls us back. Brokey can extend it with the spray. It's SDY, it's Perfecto, and they melt. He smites them both, Brokey. A triple. Towards his part of the map, but Bit gets one when most would go down. Electronic secures it. And Na'Vi take the lead from FaZe. Rip it out of their hands with five consecutive of their own design. Hesitance. Apprehension. Aggression. One from Simple. Needs more from the heavens. And Robs has taken him down. Na'Vi, nothing, nothing. FaZe Clan looking to do it. Three members of FaZe, they won't let this go. They will not go quietly. All of the rounds, all of the maps. And FaZe Clan complete the triple. I can't imagine to stop doing ESL. This is a thrill for me because this is the world that I really enjoy. At the end of the day, I like the action. I really like the action. I can't wait for the next opening ceremony, the next walk-in, the next champion, the next grand final. going on everybody welcome to mod workshop i am your host justin roby and i am hanging out with a legend <laughs> i don't know about legend but... uh, okay let's go with legend i just i'm really trying to hype up hype it up okay so yeah, okay. uh just so you know uh she is an international baking sensation here to bake a pc today mm. uh very i mean your beef wellington like changed my life i'm just letting you know uh, I'm just kidding. She has nothing to do with cooking <laughs> whatsoever. I think the only thing she's doing for right now is she's big into... Uh, oh, well, actually, why don't you introduce yourself and tell everybody yeah. else what you're big into versus me doing a terrible job of doing it for you. No worries. <laughs> All right, so I don't cook, but I do cook on Valorant. I'm mostly like a Valorant it. streamer um, on Twitch, and I go by Piplup Tiny. 
Okay, and why the name Piplup Tiny? Tiny. I mean, like, I, I mean, it's a Dota two character and it's a Pokemon. But like, mm -hmm. what, like, what was that something that inspired you? Like, did you have like, like a like a journey through the desert, and then when you were like thirsty, it appeared before you, and then led you to like a Seven Eleven that saved your life? Or how did how did the name come to be? It's not anything that intense, but Dang it. my yeah, I know my <laughs> Chinese name means waterfish, so I wanted to do something like water type, and then tiny is a little bit ironic because I'm not tiny, tiny. <laughs> 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 I like it. Okay, well, there you go. You so how long did it actually come? How long did it make for you to uh, to? How long did it take for you to make the connection that this is going to be my name? Like you, I mean, that is way more thought than I went into putting my name together. So like you were like, well, my Chinese main name means this, and I'm not tiny. Yeah. So like, like was it like you were just looking at like your favorite things like sitting on the table, or like how did yeah. how did it come to be? Um, I kind of thought that maybe my new username should be in like two parts because you know you know how usernames are it's hard to like find one that's not already taken. Yep. So I really had to like dig in and find something, but then I was like, you know what? I just want to really make it about me because okay. that's what my name is for. You know. Yep. yep. Yeah. Okay. Well, there we go. And hopefully, many of you guys have learned something uh, about um, about how do I do I have to how do I address you? You like, could just call me Anita. That's okay. that's chill. Yeah. Because I was like, I was like, I was like, I was like, if I'm literally, I'm like, hey, what's up, Pitbull yeah. Tiny? All the time. It works really name is uh, really well as a name, but like yeah. having to call you that like every time. So it's uh, so I should address you as Anita. Anita. Okay. Yes. Okay. Got it. Okay. Sorry. I totally talked over you and completely didn't hear <laughs> no the other worries. part. But now we have you guys have the origin story for Anita, uh, and we are now here, and we have all the information that you need. Guys, I am very excited because we are building an epic build that you can actually win. So this is something and your ability to win it directly translates towards us raising money for a good cause. So CLX and Landfest have come together for the Dream Big Can uh, campaign. They are going to be raffling off this PC and we're gonna be dropping links inside the chat for you to go and do a donation. What, land, what, um, what basically the... Um, the they're raising money for is like this land across America. So have you ever played games at lands? I've not, but I have seen one or two lands. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So lands are awesome. For those of us who have existed in the dinosaur times, uh, back before the interwebs, where the only thing you could do was go to another place and go and play games with your friends. This is like, it, it's like one of the cool moments. One of the things I've actually got to enjoy over the course of my career this year is I've been to DreamHack, I've been to QuakeCon, and I've got to see literally thousands of people across every, like across like, I mean, it's man, women, child, everything. And they all get together and they just play games for like four days straight and they drink like Red Bull and balls and all this stuff, and it is crazy. And so what they've done is that this uh, Landfest, which has been around for like 20 years, oh, which wow. is a long time. I know, that's yeah. a long time. So they're raising money to basically create safe spaces for everybody to do this. And they're doing things like letting you run a land in your house. So when's your land, Anita? When are we? When can we go to your house? And Next play? week. Next week, there it is, at Anita's <laughs> house. Uh, <laughs> we're not gonna put her address anywhere on the internet. No, point being is that, but. Uh, this thing is super awesome is that's what they're doing uh, and we are helping raise money and the way they're doing that is by taking this beautiful NV5 build in partnership with CLX that you and I are going to build. Will it work? We'll find out. We'll find out. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. I have high hopes. I have high hopes. Uh, but anyway, point being is that you'll be able to win this epic build uh, and potentially help a really, really great organization. So um, rumor is, Anita, that you are an amazing PC builder. Literally well known in the PC building community. You built your first PC at the age of three and you've been doing it ever since. I mean, PC uh, PCs have been used by folks like Justin Bieber, Taylor Swift. Um, we've also got like most of uh, the K-pop bands like all built, and bu built by Anita. And today I'm literally just gonna check out and she's gonna build this PC without me. And it's gonna be crazy. I'm super excited to see yeah, your skills. I'll, I'll see you later. Awesome, so anyway guys, it's gonna be, <laughs> <laughs> I just chat's like what? This is awesome. Yeah. <laughs> no, you've never built a PC before. No, I have not. But you're excited about it. I'm very excited. It's because um, when I was younger, my first PC was built by my dad, and I kind of just like watched him. And then all the other ones, I haven't seen them being built. But I think it's super cool. Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, it's an experience. Again, it's one of those things that people think that 
everybody uh, like that it's really hard and we're going to yeah. show that it's it's actually not building a pc is a it's a transcending experience right like all in all like people get over and you get to the other side you're like wow that wasn't bad and then all of a sudden i i love it because like there's something special about literally having the thing that's on your desk being built by you mm -hmm. now you currently run an intel rig right like your current pc is an intel rig so tell us about your your own pc yeah um i actually <laughs> this is quite hard because i don't know much about it um <laughs> I had a PC back when I first lived in California and then we moved to Texas for a little bit and then when I came back it kind of died. So I had to really quickly like pick up a new, get one. A new one. Yeah, I get a new one as as quick as possible. Okay. But, yeah. Okay. So you picked up a new PC and did you who did you pick it up from? Do you remember? Uh it's from a pre-built company. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Okay. So she got a she got a nice awesome pre-built which another great way to get a hold of a PC. But today we're going to turn you into a PC building master. Yes. Like you're literally going to be like like a PC build samurai. Like that's that's where we're going for today, right? Yeah. So like just like you can use swords in Valorant, you'll be able to Use technology. I and I. I don't know where I'm going with this, but whatever. It doesn't matter. We're going from there. Um, okay. So uh, anyway, guys, let's get to the specs of what we're essentially building today, um, and uh, go from there. So uh, let's pull up what we're building inside of the system. Intel Core i9 14900K desktop processor. We've got the ASRock Phantom Gaming Z790 Nova Wi-Fi uh, MOBO. The graphics card is the Zotac Gaming RTX 4070 Ti Trinity OC. We got the Lexar MN NM790 4 terabyte NVMe drive. We have Ares DDR5 32 gigs at 6400 mega transfer. The Fantex NV5 chassis, of course, which is great. Uh, Fantex D30 fans. We have the D30 360 millimeter AIO in black, which will keep that 1490. K, nice and cool. And then we've got the Fantex Amp 1000 watt black PSU. So again, the one thing that's actually really nice about this is that you actually have some room for expansion with this build. So if you wanted to jump up to like a 4090 at some point in time or a 4080 or say for instance, whatever's coming out from NVIDIA or ARC or uh, AMD later on, you totally could do that. Um, the other thing too that's also great is that this case is actually much smaller than the Fantex NV7. Um, and so what I love about the components we put in here is that it's actually done a really great job of not only being a great looking build, but just the right comparison and parts put together to make something super awesome. It's like these guys know something about PC building, you know, being a, <laughs> being a land fest thing. So it uh, should be a very, very cool build. Bot Jakey asks, can you play Minecraft in 4K. Yes, you can play Minecraft in 4K with all of the other stuff on. No idea, right? Like that's the thing. Like like mods can really bring a PC to its knees. It doesn't matter how much power is necessarily in it. And so yeah. And then we are going to be announcing the winner for this PC uh, on December 18th at the end of DreamHack, and that is when you find out if you win. And then it will be delivered by Anita personally. Yep. Yep. She's going to come to your I house. Will walk all the way to your house and deliver. Wow. Walk. Yeah. Wow, that's crazy. I like that's going to be like a really long YouTube video because like now I intentionally am going to make sure it's somebody who wins in like Nome, Alaska. <laughs> I'm just going to be like, hey, remember that promise that you made? <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll get my steps in. That's for sure. <laughs> I think it'd be pretty epic, right? Again, I, I just love to see. I'd love to see. Uh, p can I get a raise of hands? Who would watch that YouTube video of Anita walking from uh, LA to an, a Nome, Alaska? Can you even walk there? Uh, <laughs> yes, yes, it's possible. Yes. You do. You have a passport, right? Yeah. Okay, so you can get to Canada. So you're good. Yeah. Okay. P okay. People are in. People are watching. You've got over 20 people who will watch that video. That seems like it, it's worth the personal risk and injury and potential frostbite. Very, very worth. It feels like a discovery show that's about to happen. Okay, so um, <laughs> first thing we're going to do, guys, is we're going to start prepping and getting the build done. Now, just to give you an idea of how this show goes, uh, any Alaska residents in the chat? That'd actually be pretty funny. Um, I, wait. Could, I could stop by and say hi or something. <laughs> I mean, I don't even know what kind of right. Can we, is there like what kind of restaurants are in Troy? You're on your phone. What what kind of restaurants are in Nome, Alaska? Like, should she get there? What is her options? I think In and Out's out, but like, what do we got? Fish. Okay, so there's some fish there. Um, I don't know. I I think Moon Pies, Moose, Moose Burgers. Have you ever had Moose Burgers? 
Nope. I don't even know if you can have, I don't even know if we kill mooses for that. Mises, is it meese? <laughs> the, the, the plural of moose is moose. Um, anyway, uh, we are, we're gonna find out what kind of awesome, uh, what, what kind of awesome uh, vibes and stuff she's gonna do when she enjoys uh, her food options in Nome, Alaska. Um, okay, so, uh, but now it's time to actually start building. Now I was gonna run you guys through, what is, how does the show work? First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get most of the fun stuff done with you. And then when it gets to the stuff that's boring, which is AKA cable management, just installing some of the more tedious stuff, we're gonna let you go off and do what you do best. Valorant. Play, oh. Okay, Valorant. <laughs> I, thought it was, I thought it was Minesweeper. Okay, so we're actually, she's gonna play Valorant uh, and she's gonna be playing competitive and hitting diamond tonight. Isn't we're gonna do some swift plays and chill a little bit. Just keep, <laughs> keep the vibes good for today, you know? <laughs> Professional, by the way, who would love to see professional Minesweeper? I mean, that is a thinking man's game uh, going from there. Um, okay, so you're gonna play some chill vibes. We're gonna play some some Valorant. Uh, you, so you're gonna get to see some of that. So not only will you see me, the Yahoo, uh, ruining you for only half the show, then you'll get actually get back and, and uh, check out what you wanted to see. Though many of you are Robitech fans and you wanna see the PC build, so you can stay here and, and see that as well. So it should be super awesome. Um, okay, are you ready to start the building process? Yes. Okay. You Feeling, you feeling confident? Okay, now we got to do our stretches. Some okay. interesting stretches. And then you gotta, you gotta, you gotta get this because I mean, like sometimes you have to lift motherboards. Those can be really heavy. Mm. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Get you crack your back. <clears throat> there we go. Okay, feeling good? Mm -hmm. Okay, loose. Yes, very okay. loose. Well, let's start with this. Move that over there. <laughs> and then we will grab the mobo. Do you actually want me to move it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Because we do not need it. I'm gonna switch it with this mobo right here. Ugh, there you go. It should be nice and it should be it should be too crazy, but I we're having you do the full PC build experience here. And then just set it right there on the table. Cool. And CLX did a really good job with the design. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Here is the first portion. This is the motherboard. Yes. And you get to start with the most fun part, which is the peels. So you see all the places where we can start peeling. You see the little blue tabs. Ooh. Ooh, yes. See? <laughs> see? Wait, can I just go? Yeah, you can go. Oh my gosh. Are you having fun? Yes. I think this is going to be the best this, part. I know. I know. <laughs> People are already enjoying it. They're like, it's so satisfying. This one too, right? Yeah, yeah. You got every, find all the blue tabs. It's like, it's also like a game of hunt. You know what I mean? You're like hunting yeah. for the things to peel. What? Oh, okay. I already messed up. Yeah. Okay, the PC's done. We can't even do it anymore. <laughs> it's completely broken. <laughs> did you just put the blue tab back I on? I did, I did. She's like, you know what? We're just going to let the other person discover that. I think I can repeal it if, like, I'm gentle enough. You're just going to have to do it with your nails, I think. Yeah. 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 We don't get... We don't... You don't get the... You have to work for this one. Oh, man. Oh man, this is gonna take up the four hours. Yeah, this is so, here's the cup, while you're doing this, oh, I like how she went, she's trying, she's trying to figure <laughs> this out. First thing we're gonna have to figure out. Oh, I did Oh, you did it. I've actually never seen that happen. Whoa. World first. Okay, so let's talk about your origin story for getting into streaming. Yes. Starting from the beginning, you were, uh, you, you, you met, your parents met, you were born, then what happened? Starting from there. Oh, starting from the very starting beginning? Starting from the very beginning. Okay, well, I started playing Need for Speed and Street Fighter with my dad um, when I was like four. And then I immigrated to the US from China. And then from there, I was really obsessed with MMOs for, until I was like in middle school, started playing a little bit of League. And then we started doing more FPS games and then TikTok. I just randomly started posting on TikTok and then started streaming for fun. And then I was like, I could make this a job. Okay. And I love doing this. So here okay. we are. And so you, do you, oh, and I can take that for you. Do oh, you yeah. still play any MMOs or is it just strictly Valorant at this point in time? Usually just strictly Valorant. I, even though I am a gamer, I like going outside a lot. Okay. <laughs> so I I, a lot of the time that I spend um, playing games, 
it's usually just Valorant, so I'm like tiring myself out from being on the computer and whatnot. So. Okay. So what? So you talk about outdoor activities. Yeah. What kind of outdoor activities do you enjoy? I'm a huge foodie. I love okay. going and like trying new restaurants, and then like me and my significant other, we like um, rating food. Okay. And, like finding our favorite places and things like that. Okay. Nice. Nice. And so, what is your favorite food right now? Probably Japanese curry. It's always like a okay. staple, like a comfort food. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Yeah, yeah. No, it's uh, that was actually where I spent most of my high school years was living in Japan. Oh, really? I lived in Okinawa. I went to ASIJ in, uh-huh. in Tokyo, and then I actually lived up north in Misawa. So oh. yeah, I spent a lot. Dad was military, so I traveled all over. But we he, he tried to spend a lot of time in Japan. So yeah. most of my formative years were there. I actually took my kids to go visit where I went to school and stuff like that. Which they were like, they were like, Japan's awesome. Love Japan, and I. I agree. Curry, their curry is fantastic. Insane. That and ramen. I just, I can't get enough ramen. Now, there are some more peels on here. Oh, there are more? Yes, there are. They're not on the front. They're on the side. They're on the side. And then I believe the biggest peel you've ever done is on the back. On the back? On the back. So you can flip the motherboard over. Guys, it's over four hours of peeling. I think they'd actually enjoy that. <laughs> Unironically. They probably wouldn't. They'd be like, yes, this was amazing. Okay. So should I lay it flat? Or? Oh, turn it over. Maybe there is one. Turn it over. All the way over. Is there one? Oh, yeah. No, there's a peel. Okay, there's only one. It's not. Oh, it doesn't. I can't tell if it's big or not. So just go ahead and lay it on its face. You can lay it down. Oh, no, there's a big peel. Yeah, that whole thing peels. It's like it's like skin off a sunburn. All right, are we ready? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's a good sound. Oh my gosh, that one's the best one. And there we go, guys. All the peels right there. Yes, it is. It's such an appealing stream. So (laughs) there we go. It is so good. Okay, now we can flip it over. And now we can actually do the build part of it uh, at this point in time. So here we go. Oh, there's still a little one on there. Wait, was there one on the back on the logo? There might be. Oh yeah, there is. The logo's got another one. Guys, we're still peeling. We're still peeling. Send help. This build's never getting done. It's just going to peel the whole time. <laughs> uh, there we go. And then you have another one on the logo. These don't have tabs on them. We're trapped forever. Uh-oh. We're doomed. There we go. Okay, cool. There it is, guys. We have all of the peels done. We can officially... Wait till we get to the GPU, because... Oh, never mind. It's a Zotac. Okay, whew. I thought maybe we'd gotten the uh, Asus one. I'm like, and we have another 70 peels. Okay, now it is time to open the CPU. So I'll hand this over to you. So, so it's like it flips. So I, what I do is lay it on its face like that, flip it over, and then open it from there. It just pops open right there. There we go. Cool. And then you get your little wafer there. And then you can twist open the wafer. Perfect, and there is your 14900K. Okay, so now before we open it up in there, what I'm gonna have you do is push down on that, and then it'll kind of slip out from the side. There you go, perfect. And then you can just go ahead and open that up, pull it open, perfect. And now what you're gonna do is turn that over, you're gonna open up the plastic. Okay, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab it and you're just gonna set it in just like that, right inside of there. Oh, my hands are shaking. There we go. <laughs> you're not quite in. There you go. Okay. okay. Now what you're going to do. Okay, cool. This is always a fun part, okay? Mm-hmm. Now what you're going to do is you're just going to take this finger and you're going to push this in. And then when it touches, go and slowly pull that down. That's got to clip okay. over it. But just touch on the side. Yep. Keep going. And then push, push, push down. Slowly kind of push towards. Nope. See how it's got to catch. So yeah. keep pushing down. You're going to feel resistance. Cool. There you go. And then push and then make that go all the way back how it was. You're going to pull real. It's going to be tough. You just okay. really have to push. It's okay. Putting all of the pressure on Is those pins. Is supposed to lift right here? Yeah, it's fine. Okay. Keep going. Push, 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 push. And then put it back underneath. I'm struggling a lot. It's, this isn't making it any okay. easier. There we go. Look, okay. you've done it. Yay. Your first 
Your first CPU has been installed. It's always nerve-wracking, right? Very. I was because, like... Because oh. you don't know how much pressure it is and all that sort of stuff. But the other thing, too, is like, guys, it's, it's really not that big of a deal. Just give it the pressure once it collapses underneath. And then what it's doing is it's creating on the bottom is a bunch of like little like circles yeah. that's pushing the pens into those circles. So that way you get all the connections. That's, that's really the short of it. Okay, so we can put this away. And then we'll make it look all nice. Now comes the fun part. Guys, this is... This can change your life. Honestly, I mean, you may not even be the same person after this, okay? What we're gonna do is we're gonna put in RAM. And for, so RAM is like your, basically your memory. Uh, we're gonna be doing DDR5. But the thing that's so much fun about RAM is it makes loud clicks when you put it in there. And those loud clicks, like literally they, like you just feel them in your soul, okay? okay. So this is gonna be a big moment for you. So if you just wanna take a breath while I grab it, prepare yourself for this moment. Guys, we have our 32 gig kit of RAM. Uh, do we have a, yes we do. Okay, now we get a sharp object, which still impresses me that they actually let me get to use these. Okay, here we go. <laughs> okay, perfect. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna show you how, I'm gonna show you the process to get the best click, okay. right? And then uh, again, uh, from here, it's not 64 gigs, it's just 32 gigs. The RAM does not have a peel. I think the only RAM that I've actually seen that actually does have the peel on it, guys, is actually Corsair Dominator um, and the G-Skill Trident Royal Z um, used to have the uh, peel, but most, most RAM does not have peels anymore, so. Yeah, you're right. It is still it's it's still cracked RAM in terms of speed and everything like this. Okay, so here is our RAM. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna take it just like this. You're gonna have the sticker kind of towards the front. It's gonna pop it in. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your Oh, did they do this the right way? I'm just gonna make sure. Okay, it's the other way. So they did the sticker. Usually it's the sticker that way, but this is why we test. Okay, so you're gonna put it like this and then. Ooh. See what I mean? Yeah. Oh! Wow. Okay. It if was like if you didn't show me that, I probably thought I would break it. Yeah. So you. <laughs> yeah. So it's a lot of pressure. Yeah. So now it is your turn. Okay. This is a big moment for you. You're which, gonna be a different person. Which one do I? Put? You're gonna put it in the last slot. There you go. Okay. And then give it a good push. Oh wow. Maybe I'm too weak for this. <laughs> <laughs> I think it might be in. Oh, it's in. No click. Oh, it's just no click. How did you do the silent stealth method? What? I'm just sneaky. I think I think <laughs> I think this build might be ruined for all eternity. <laughs> okay, that was just not quite in, but there you go. Okay, so okay. RAM is in. Uh, you didn't get the transcend the, the the amazing experience, but you know what? We deal with it. We're gonna be okay. Okay, so we're we're good. Next thing we're gonna put in is our NVMe drive. So this is your hard drive, and this guys. Four terabytes. Thank you, Lexar. That's oh. actually really nice. Yeah. So that can almost install COD. Um, <laughs> you almost have enough room to install one copy of that. It's funny because like Valorant is like what? It's like what? Seventeen gigs? Very little. It's not. It's not very big. It like it pretty much runs on a potato. Um, and then again, it's like the, it's one of those games. It's like if you're gonna play on like a 480 hertz monitor or a 540 hertz monitor, like it's the one of the few games that does it. Mm -hmm. What what monitor do you play? Like, do you play like 240? I play 340. 340. Okay. And do you notice the difference between a 240 and a 165? Yes. Snap. It's smooth. It's very smooth. <laughs> Man, I just, it's crazy. Like, it's so funny because I was talking to uh, nothing and he plays CSGO. And mm -hmm. I remember when the, the 340s like first came out and I was like, I was like, we were, we were, we, they had a bunch of us tech people there and they were like, I was like, I, I can't. Like yeah. once I got above like 240, I was like, I can't tell the difference. But he's like, this is so amazing. And I was like, you're lying. Yeah. But no, no, it's uh when you when you play it long enough, yeah, <laughs> you can see the difference. I don't really notice it on Cyberpunk because it doesn't get that kind of frame rate. <laughs> like, uh, no. And so, why Valorant? I mean, that's one of the things. Like, when you think about all of the games you have options for, I mean, other ones like CS:GO, Rainbow Six. What is it about Valorant that you like so much? Was it because of your like time with League? Or well, originally, I played Overwatch two or Overwatch one for a little bit and i really liked kind of like the more unrealistic art style of it and it looked a lot easier than other like fps games um that were like super detailed and another thing was that i was already familiar with like riot games okay 
So you like, so for you, a lot of it, what appealed was the actual art style itself, yes. right? So what did you think of Overwatch? I thought it was cool. I think um, I kind of got tired of it after a little bit. It's very overstimulating. I think Valorant is a lot slower. So usually when I'm playing Overwatch, I'm just like silent in there. But then when I'm playing Valorant, I'm like talking all the time. So you think one of the things that actually really helped with Valorant was the fact that you could, you could like be more chatty versus yes. Overwatch was like there was so much happening that you had to it's like you had to have that high cognitive like dealing with that high cognitive load. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm gonna see how this opens. It looks like it's I don't actually know how this one works. <laughs> this is their new one. So it looks like it doesn't require. Uh, maybe. Well, let's see here. Oh no! It just it goes like this. Cool. Okay, so you don't need a tool, which is cool. So the, everybody has been doing these new toolless, what are called M.2 covers. Your M.2 is your hard drive, and then what you can see is like we could we could have done it normally and done it here, but this is the fastest slot. So what you do is you just basically click it in, and then it lifts right up. Okay. So you just kind of slide in and then lift. And I do know it works. I made sure it did before I. I'm just a little. No, no. But the other thing too is like, it's also, yeah, and you should be able to remove it all the way. Oh, okay. Okay, there we go. Okay, so that's out of the way. If you flip that over, there's another peel. Oh. And you want to just do the blue top. Okay, perfect. Okay, awesome. We've had a couple of people who are like, I'm taking it all off. And you're like, well, <laughs> there goes the thermal capel you know, capacity for that one. So thank you for that. Okay, so what you're going to do is you see how there's a little slot right here. Yeah. You're going to pop that in. And then it's, and when you know it's all the way in, it'll act like a diving board. Okay. 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 So you're just gonna pop it in, line up that with the little slot there in the PCB, right? And then you're just gonna give it a good push, and then you can give it a good solid. It'll it'll almost click in. You'll know. So keep going. Good job. It's not there. There you go. There see, and go. then see. Now oh, it works. Okay. Okay. See, it works like it. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. So now you have a little latch here, and you're gonna take that little latch and slip it over. Takes a little bit. There you go. Perfect. And now what you want to do is reverse this. So this is going to go back on just like that. Now how it does, I think it kind of slips underneath on the other side here. Mm -hmm. so it's like it goes like this. Okay. Yeah. And then it kind of pops down, back down. Do I have to snap this? I think, I think you should just be able to push it, but maybe not. There we go. There you go. Okay. That you and I both had a new experience. I had <laughs> never, I had never done that on a board before, so that was a little bit new for me. So hey, we solved it together. Let's go. There we go. Okay, and that's it. The PC is done. Thanks for tuning in, guys. We're just no. I guess we got to put it inside of a case and stuff now. Okay. Um, last thing we're gonna do is we're actually gonna prep this PC for the cooler. So the all-in-one liquid cooler. Um, and this is, you know, that part, the whole po purpose of that part is obviously to make sure that the CPU, as it generates heat, it transfers out and then it cools and all that sort of stuff. So we're going to grab this right here, but we're not going to take everything out of it. We're just going to take out the components we need to put onto the MOBO. So that's all we're doing here. There we go. <laughs> and popping this open. So how long have you been streaming? Three years, basically. Okay. Yeah. Wow, okay. More full time has only been about a year. Okay. So you and I started around the same time because I started oh, really? a, yeah, just that three years ago. I'm on wow. my, just started my third year. Uh -huh. um, and then um, how has it been so far? Like, have you really enjoyed it? Yeah, I've loved it. I mean, I think prior to this, I was in college and I had a really hard time finding what I like to do. And because like work was work and then... You got to please other people, but like just making stuff that I like has been really nice. Okay. Okay. And then uh, what has been your favorite part of the whole process? Well, I think meeting new people. Okay. I've met so many people through this. I think I'm, it's very hard for me to like be very extroverted. So I think this gave me an opportunity to like talk to a bunch of people and like get out of my bubble. Nice. Okay. So that's been, that's been your favorite part. Uh, what are some of your like your top moments that you've had so far? I think meeting people that I, I've been watching on YouTube for a really long time and just like knowing that like, oh my God, we're having a conversation. Like, you know who I am. You know what I mean? That's actually got to be pretty cool. Now, are you going to do, have you done, because I don't know, have you done any competitive Valorant stuff? Like, have you been able to be on stage or anything like that? Or has it just been pretty much just streaming? I think I wanted to go pro at one point, but then I have performance anxiety. And oh. I was like, that's 
not going to work. It's, so. it, 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 when you really think about what those guys do, or, you yeah. know, I mean, it's funny because I, I, you know, I have, I have both, um, both uh, female and male, like, professional esports. And it's like mm -hmm. to do it on stage in front it's of insane. all those people. So a lot of people, like, they thrive off of, like, that yeah. energy and that adrenaline. Like, I, I personally <laughs> do not. <laughs> okay, so what we're going to do here is I'm going to have you flip over the motherboard and just put it, lay it down on its face. Okay, now what this is, is this has got a little peel on it and then it makes it sticky. And then you wanna line these up with the holes right there, okay? So go ahead and peel the white thing on and then we're gonna stick that onto, there you go, perfect. And you're gonna stick that inside of, yep. And then just kind of line up the holes and the outer hole, like it should, they all should all be on the edge. Perfect, it might be pretty, wow, nice. That was very fast. Like you were just like, okay, done. Thank mm -hmm. you for uh, thank you for participating <laughs> in that experience. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is have you flip it back over again, mm -hmm. and I'm going to find the little tabs that we need for. Will it pop out if nope. I? No, it should. It should. That's what you added. You added the stickiness. So, okay. and we should have all. Okay, perfect. All those holes are there. That's not what we need. Okay, this should be LGA 1700. Nope, that's TR4. Now we just have to find the right posts. Intel, okay, so here's, now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna have you take each one of those posts and you're gonna screw them in to those little holes that you just went in there. This way, right? Yep, just like that. There you go, there's those. Go this away. And then this is just, what it's gonna do is it's gonna allow us to mount the AIO onto the CPU. So we're just getting that all prepped. And again, guys, remember, if you're just joining us, you can win this PC. In fact, uh, this is this PC is being given away at LandFest. The way you enter to win is you we're going to put links, uh, and then you can donate. And this is donating to Land Across America. Uh, this is a part of LandFest's uh, fundraising to set up uh, cool places, safe places for people to have lands. Uh, you can get more details there. Just any donation, and then from there, the people who donate, you basically get an opportunity to win this epic $2,500 PC, uh, care of CLX and LandFest. So pretty awesome that they're doing this. Um, I, dude, honestly, winning a PC like this can change somebody's life. Because, I mean, Definitely, a lot of times, yeah. you don't... Some people can't afford to get to do things like this and find mm -hmm. out if they can be a streamer like yeah. yourself or, or others, right? So... I, I know, Seawolf, exactly. You can win a PC. All you got to do is just go click on that. Just give a little. And uh, at the same time, you know that you are helping an incredible cause and also potentially going to get to walk away with this really, really good system. So um, do you have RGB on your current rig? I do. Okay. What is what are the colors set to? Uh, or is it just like rainbow? I think usually I have it like a really light pink purple. Okay, nice. Yeah. Ooh, that's like the classic color combination. We can actually do that with this build here today too because oh. we're going to hook it up so it's all on a button so we'll be yeah. able to you'll be able to choose the RGB when we're all said and done. So you have creative control. All right. Okay. So if we want to scoot this over, if you want to go grab the case and you want to put it right here. And the thing is, today you're getting a workout too, right? Like it's all, you're getting everything. <laughs> you're gonna be able to go like and just be like, look at this. Like look at my guns now. Look at everything. Like you're just you're just stronger and better. Okay, okay. So now what we're gonna do is this is the PG13 portion of the ta the case um, of the whole thing. We're gonna strip the case. Okay, so you're gonna see a naked case. So if you have any concerns about that, now's the time to leave the room. So we're this is PG13 content. Yep. Okay. So what I'm gonna have you do is we're going to start by uh, you're going to start unscrewing there and then unscrewing there. Well, that freaked me out a bit that it was slanted. Yeah, it is. It I looks like, like it's uh, been... That is actually some part of just the design of the case. So, yeah. Do you want me to take it completely out? It should stay captive, okay. so you don't need to take it all the way out. If it, it, Usually when they'll hang out like that, that yeah. just means it's a captive screw. This thing's got some fingerprints on it. Jeez. Okay, and then with that, we should be able to... And go ahead and undo this one as well. There we go. And then the one next to it. Perfect. And then you can go ahead and do, there should be two more here on the side too. So what we're doing is we're just loosening all the panels so we can start taking this case apart. It should just get, just stop and then you should be good. There you go. <clears throat> 
No, Super Walrus, we're doing it here in the studio. We get it. We're trying to make it look super professional, right? That's what we do. So, okay, here we go. I think, okay, so that just slips out. There we go. So we're done there. And then I'm guessing we might have the screws to protect it at the top. Maybe, nope, okay, maybe not. So that's just, if you want to just pull that straight. Perfect. Yeah, hand that to me, cool. We'll get that out of the way. And then we'll put it right here against this. Hopefully it doesn't shatter. Same one, you should just be able to pull the rear towards you. There you go, perfect. Awesome. And that is good to go. And then the next thing is on the back here, we're gonna have you pop that up. And then if you wanna take out the little screw things there, oh, we oh. can do that oh. actually, that's fine too. We'll just do that and let's get our screws and stuff out. And then what I'm gonna have you do now is I'm actually gonna have you turn this here. Oops. And then just lay it on its back okay. straight down. Perfect. Okay, and then now that you've got that, what I'm gonna have you do is I'm gonna have you take this, you see how there's a there's a rectangle right there? Yeah. That rectangle is where this goes. So this, oop, let's push all these cables through back here. So you're gonna grab the motherboard, I just kind of grab it like this, uh -huh. and you're gonna line it up. So this peg should go right here in the middle, okay. and then it'll just kind of sit in there once you do that. All right. Okay? Yeah. Is the peg. It's always the, the the search, you know what I mean, to find yeah. to find where it goes, and it kind of just once it gets in there, you'll know it's in the right place because it just kind of sits nicely. There we go. It's in. Yes. Perfect. Okay. Great. Now what we're gonna do is I give you the world's longest screwdriver. Oh wow. <laughs> <laughs> Excalibur. Yes. And then inside of here is all of our our little stuff that we need to put this in. So you're gonna put this screw, you see how there's literally, literally little holes right here? Yeah. So there's one there, one there, one there, one there, one there, and then there's three along the top. You're gonna take these little screws, and you're gonna screw them in. So it's, you're gonna have to find your method. Uh, unfortunately, oh, you know what? Wait, I think this is- That's the wrong screw. Oh, sorry, here. How about I give, right, <laughs> give you the right, let me give you the right screwdriver. I looked at that, I said, yeah, that's not gonna work. Uh-oh. There you go. Okay, nice. I will put, give you the other screws you need right next to you there. There you I go. I feel like I'm holding a wand. In a lot of ways you are. In a lot of ways. You're, you're, prepared, you're doing magic. Right there, magic for somebody. You know what, the thing that's so crazy about this is think about this, um, Anita. You are going, you are currently building a PC that somebody else is going to use. Yes. That's a lot of responsibility. So much pressure. <laughs> <laughs> Remember how you talked about all that performance anxiety? It's happening right this now. This is happening right now. Can you make it happen? I mean, can you can you do this for some uh, very lucky soul? Can I make this work? I'm, guys, I'm trying to, I'm actually trying to get Anita to get over her performance anxiety oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. so she can become a pro. This is part of my therapy session exactly. and my, my road to pro. Uh, let me just tell you, I mean, it, actually, it, she's paying Intel to be here today. That's This is all part of her therapy stuff that she's <laughs> going through right now. You can, oh, I'm, I'm sorry, Kurosaki. We actually have already begun. Unfortunately, I, I used to wait for you for our builds, but now we just do it. Uh, yeah, exactly. That's what we need to do. It's like ARGB illuminate. That's the, uh, that's the command for the wand if you want to just have a light turn on. Did we put the IO plate in the case? VIP Zen wants to know, did we put the IO plate on? You know what, it'll be a mystery. It's unfortunately, unfortunately it's an integrated IO. So yes, it, it, it wasn't in there. She doesn't get the joy of also knowing that you could have a sharp weapon or lose a finger as part of your PC building experience. Okay, well, I'm glad I don't have to <laughs> go through that. Luckily, we just upped our insurance here on the show. <laughs> okay, that's, that's nice to know. <laughs> It's funny because all of the all of the people who don't build PCs are like, what? And all the people who do build PCs are just laughing <laughs> because they know exactly what we're talking about. So uh, I'll, I'll show you once you're done 
putting, I don't want to take, I don't want to add more, more pressure to you right now. I'm trying to let you have an, an enjoyable experience, but here on the, here, I'll, let's take a quick pause on the back here. See this right here. Mm -hmm. This is called an IO shield. Yeah. And what used to, what used to happen on mini PCs is that it didn't come integrated. Oh. So you'd have to have like, it look, it literally, it came and you had to pop it in, uh -huh. but it had like the sharpest edges on it in the world. And so, so many people, like when they're popping it in, yeah. will literally draw blood because sometimes, but the best, we always used to joke that it could also mean that uh, you could use it as a potential weapon. Like, should you have somebody break in, you have like a shiv, but then mm -hmm. you had to take your whole PC apart to, <laughs> to get access to it. So like, as the person's like trying to break in, you're like, hold on, hold on. I, I, need, to get me, my, I need to get my shiv out. It takes about an hour um, going from there. Yeah, using it to cut your food. I mean, there there are some really funny videos uh, of people kind of joking about it um, from there. Um, somebody was asking, can I donate? Yes, you can absolutely start your donation now. All your donations get you entries towards winning this PC currently. And again, you're helping a super epic cause uh, at the same price, uh, same price same same uh, time. I don't know why I said price. Uh, and again, this is all part of LandFest Dream Big campaign. And then we'll be announcing the winner at DreamHack Atlanta, which is actually pretty cool. Um, I think I need two more screws. You need two more? Well, I have uh, like maybe, 40. Maybe I have like, like 40. Do I have to do one in here too? Does it have a hole? Yes. Okay, yeah. So you're good there. Okay, and you need I one need more three. after that? Okay, there you go. Three screws. That one's going to be the challenging one because it's like covered by a hole. Yeah, if I drop it, it's kind of over. <laughs> yep. Let's hope that doesn't happen. <laughs> Guys, we're going to go ahead and start taking bets right now. Will she drop the screw and not be able to get it out? And it'll just be part of the features for this <laughs> for this for this build. Oh wait, is there a Oh, there may not be a there may not be a pet. Okay, yeah, that one don't oh, worry about. One? Yeah, okay. don't worry about that one. So we could we it's a it's an extra. It's not all motherboards actually have that uh that hole for uh -huh. people to screw into. So Okay. Mods are making the prediction, putting it in there. Okay, here we go. Is this, so this is the last one, yes. the most challenging one. Here, uh, you know what? Let's let's make this way easier. Go ahead and take that cover off. Okay. I was like, I was like, you know what? This is just this is just not gonna go well. And I don't I don't want her to be like, well, I used to like building PCs till I met that <laughs> jerk Roby Tech, and he made me do like the impossible task. There we go. Okay, cool. Are they still doing the bet? I don't know if they're still doing. I, I'm sure they are doing it on my side. I'm pretty okay, okay. sure. <laughs> My side, they're definitely they're definitely doing the bet. Any any reason to get channel points? Uh, because basically, they can spend channel points on unlocking CPU giveaways. So. Oh wow. Oh, never mind. Blondie didn't set it up, and it's too late. Blondie, she didn't drop it. She got it in. So. Get it in. Okay. There we go. Okay, cool. There he goes. So now that we've got this done, the next question for you is. What is the next big step for you in your streaming career? Like, what is it? Is it going to be like, do you have like a stream anniversary coming up? Are you going to do a co-stream with Dua Lipa? Like, what's, what's happening? I wish. I, I know. Wish. Me too. I She's my spirit animal. <laughs> Dua Lipa rules. Anyway, go ahead. Um, I mean, I've been doing vlogs for a long time okay. since I was in college, showing like what it's like being a streamer from going to college to being full-time. Um, and now I kind of want to transition more into lifestyle. I've always wanted to be like a fashion beauty travel. Really? Yes. Okay. So th even though gaming has been really great, it was definitely an accident. Okay. Um, so I kind of want to like do both at one point. Now that you've got like kind of the beginning of a following, like now jumping in and doing some of the, I tried the fashion beauty thing. Unfortunately, <laughs> <laughs> it didn't work. So now I just do tech and gaming, which is fine. Uh, and all that sort of stuff. But, um, when you think about travel, where do you want to go? I Joy, thank you for the support, by the way, giving me that cringe look. I really appreciate that. <laughs> um, I just went to Korea for a little trip for okay. like a week. I want to go back. Okay. Um, and then I also want to go to Japan and Hong Kong. Okay. And, um, just visit like the big cities. I also really want to live in New York for like a year. I think okay. that'd be so fun. It's a, yeah. there's there's like a there's like this thing you should always live in New York living there for a year spending time in the big city is is super rad mm -hmm. um, and then it just teaches you I did it in Seattle so that's yeah. where I did, I like did my did my year living in a big city it does it gives you a different perspective on like w when you can decide where you want to go whether you want to stay in the suburbs at least you have that experience so you can yeah. know what's best well that's that's kind of cool so if you what's your next like if you were gonna choose your next travel destination right now. 
Where, where, where's next? When can we see the next vlog? Japan. Japan. Yes. And we're I'm, doing Tokyo, Kyoto. All like, of it. All of it? All of it. So it's funny because I was talking about samurai. Like, I actually got to do samurai training in Kyoto. Oh, really? And actually, my favorite picture of my family is all of us dressed like samurai. That's so And then cute. we were actually doing katana training. It was mm -hmm. super rad. Kyoto's awesome. And then, um, and then of course, you can't go wrong doing Tokyo. Yeah. I would say, if I, if I could say Japan, one of the things is that there's the snow festival uh, up in uh, the, the Big Island. Island, which is actually at the very tip. So if you can get a chance to go check that out, going during the winter in Japan is actually a lot cooler because like you can go get snow up north and yeah. then still actually get like the Tokyo life thing. Oh. And then doing Fuji, like summiting Fuji. And the best thing about it at the very top, there's actually vending machines. So you can actually at get like, at the very top of Fuji. You it's can get like up a there. little prize, right? Yeah, you can get Georgia <laughs> yeah. coffee right there at the top and watch the sunrise in Fuji, which is actually pretty awesome. So I they kind of think of everything. Down. I'm yeah. just telling you. I mean, I spent a lot of times there, a lot of, a lot of time <laughs> in Japan. It was pretty rad. Okay, so we got that stuff done. Um, now what we're going to do is we're going to prep the AIO. And it's super interesting because we're going to use these new fans. They're called the D30 fans. Mm -hmm. They're nice and thick, but they have a lot of little Lego parts. So I'm going to let you have that experience of putting them together. Um, and then once we kind of do that, then we're going to let you transition to go and play video games. Does that sound sound like fair? Yes. Yeah? You're ready? Fair. Have you been working on your... What, what, what is your routine in getting ready for streaming? Uh, usually I make something to drink and then play with my dog a little bit. And then... What kind of dog you have? Horgy. Oh, Oh man! <laughs> so my I, so I have three dogs. I have oh, really? I have a I have a uh, I have a pug named Maggie. Oh. She's amazing, and she's a runt pug, so she's the perfect size. Mm -hmm. I have a Chewini, which is a Chihuahua uh, Dachshund mix. So yeah. that's our, and then we have a Walker Coon hound. When I asked for a dog, I asked for a corgi, and yet I don't have a corgi. I have these three other dogs. In fact, for Christmas, my wife was like, I'm going to get you a corgi, and I got a pug. So <laughs> oh I just like, God. so I'm very jealous of people who have corgis. I have a lot of friends who have corgis. I want a corgi, but yet I have pug. I, I mean, my, don't get me wrong. Maggie is my favorite. I'll show you pictures later, but uh, still, I mean, it was just, it's awesome. Corgis are such great dogs. They, they are. They have amazing personalities. Um, the other question, I actually put this out on Twitter, is what is your post stream? Like when you get done with a stream, you're four or oh. five hours in. I, like for me, I can't talk to people. Like I need to like do I something quite that's mindless. I literally just lay on the floor and rot. Like my, my I'm like, okay, mine's it's, just not that so, bad. <laughs> it's just very like, I think I'm always stimulated for like five hours straight. So I just lay on my rug and pet my dog and go on TikTok and just like rot for a bit. Yeah, it's you you can't you got to do something like absolutely mindless. I yeah. don't think people know just how much energy streaming actually does. And then the moment when you go when you're finally done like setting up your thing, like you're drained. Like it's funny cuz like my wife's like do you want to go? I'm like no, I no, no, I want to no, literally do watch anything. <laughs> I want to watch the Great British Baking Show yeah. and be done for like a little while. I don't uh, I used to do TikTok and Reels but the other thing too is like then th like way more time would go by than I wanted to so I had to like get it to like a something I could time Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, uh, anyway, I was just curious because I, I asked that question on Twitter, and I was always, I was like, "Does everybody else like me?" So it's good to know that yeah, everybody else is like they, drained. I don't get asked like what I do after. It's usually like before. So then when you were like after, I was like, "Oh man, <laughs> I'm gonna sound like a like a DJ." No, you're gonna sound like all of the rest of us who are like really tired after you're done, and you're like literally the last thing you want to do is like go be social. Like there was a couple yeah. times when. Like you'll do shows like it's like I, I've done like a mod workshop and then it's like, hey, there's we're going to go to some social event afterwards. Mm -hmm. And it's hard. It's very like you're hard. like, I don't want to be I like I don't have any personality left. You guys have taken it all. Like it's all <laughs> gone. Um, it's it's crazy. So okay, here we go. Time to play with uh, Legos for a little bit for Lego for a little bit. Lego is getting mad at me because I the plural of Lego is Lego. OK, it's not Legos. No, it is not. You do not. Oh. So. My, I started as a Lego streamer. Oh. So, okay. That's actually not true. I was a game developer for 20 years. So I made Halo. I worked on Halo, Forza, Age of Empires, like uh -huh. most of the big, a lot of ones, you know. And then when I, I then transitioned to making games. But when I was doing that, I actually had a Lego YouTube channel. 
And part of that was learning a ton about Lego. And that's when I learned that the plural of Lego is Lego. It's not Legos. And so it's one of those things that goes from there. So anyway, yeah, Age of Empires, um, the Rise, Son of Rome, uh, Halo. Uh, my last job, I was the director of player voice for Halo Infinite. So my last game that I shipped was the last Halo, which was pretty crazy. So that's what I did before I made video games. I mean, before I made uh, PCs is made video games. That's super cool. It was I, fun. Yeah, in high school, I wanted to be a concept artist. Oh, nice. Yeah, but that didn't happen. <laughs> I, you could have told. You could have made that way more sad. I wanted to be a concept artist, but then I realized I can't draw. <laughs> <laughs> I'm terrible at art. And you're like, oh, okay. Well, there's that. Okay, so we got all of the components out of this. So we're done there. So now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna have you ta unbag all of the, uh, like unpack all of this, all of these different parts. She could. Have you? So have you shared? Have you done art on stream or anything like that? I used to. I think the the reason why I kind of stopped is because um, when I get into like drawing, I don't talk for like twenty minutes. Yeah. So it. I I did like a stream where I was playing Valorant while like painting the Valorant character at the same time. It was very hectic. But then I gave away the the painting and then I made stickers out of the painting and it was really fun. But. I don't know if I would do it again. <laughs> so I don't understand. How, how, okay, how, how do you do both at the same time? Yeah, so basically I would just play the game and okay. then in between the rounds, okay. I would just like paint as fast as possible. Okay, okay, yeah. so it's in between the rounds. Yeah, it wasn't yeah. like something where like you're like playing, but then with your feet, you're oh, no, 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 no. And I was like, wow, this is like the most ambidextrous person I've ever met. Like all in all. No, like, I wish, I wish. That, the painting would have turned out really, really, really bad if I did that. I, I, <laughs> I actually like, I was on like TikTok or Instagram Instagram reel that I actually yeah. saw there was a person who like paints with their feet and there was actually one I, you guys probably have seen this mm -hmm. where there there's one person they're doing five paintings at one time so they're doing left hand right hand and then they have all the stuff at their feet and they're painting the same I, I have you guys seen this it's on what I think every it's got like 20 gajillion views on it I, I mean come on somebody back me up has somebody seen this like painting where they're painting okay <laughs> it's a thing <laughs> I don't have TikTok. Well, bot Jakey is useful at all, not at all. <laughs> so I can't say. Somebody said yes. Thank you. At least one person. It has was Snakey Jakey <laughs> instead of bot Jakey. <laughs> anyway, it is a thing. But the point is, is that this person was painting five different things mm -hmm. with all of their extremities at the same time. Were they good painting? They were amazing, and that was the thing that blew my mind. So. Uh, thank you for Figment for Life is letting me know that this is his way of knowing he's ambidextrous at the same time. Thank you, Figment, for letting me know <laughs> of that at the it's crazy. Okay. Anyway, that's my story. I'm sticking to it. We'll find it. Okay, if you want to go ahead and pop that open. Koji's gonna look it up. I'm sure I'm pretty sure Koji is currently on the interwebs looking up person painting. We'll see if it shows up on the screen. He's like, no, I wasn't. I wasn't really looking that up at all. <laughs> You've just put all this pressure on me to find this thing that may not even exist. <laughs> okay, so the way that these work, these are actually really crazy fans. Mm -hmm. um, and see how it says single input corner? So what we're going to do is we got to find all of the corners and we line them up like this. Like that. Okay, and then what I'm going to have you do is peel the little stickers off of there. These are fun, these are fun uh, little fans to do. Love peeling. At least we got that part right. <laughs> okay, cool. So if you wanna hand me those, now what I'm gonna have you do, mm -hmm. is see how these have little metal like that? Yeah. These are going to click in. So we'll stick them like this right here. And then these are going to make sure they're the right direction. These are gonna click into that in a, like almost like a Lego brick. Oh, it's literally like a Lego. Yep, yep. And then you're going to stick that one up, and then that one is right here. And that, that's how they all click together, and they should just snap in. Okay, cool. Now what we're going to do is on the ends, these go on the end, and they kind of go like this. They kind of wrap in and then kind of clip over. Like, it's like you got to figure it out there. Perfect. Oh, and Stefan, don't put it on that one. My bad. That's my bad. Oh, okay, don't okay. do that. Okay. Glad you didn't do that yet. Because we, on this one, have to pop this on there. Okay. So that is going to clip on okay, the okay. there. 
And it kind of clips over and then it'll like, it, it's, it, yeah, it's, you just gotta, there you go. And then it should just clip down. Am I very weak or am I doing I, this it's, wrong? It's whack. Do you want to? Here, let me give it, let me give it, it's, it's, it, whoa. Oh. We just broke them all. <laughs> okay, that one's good. And then this one, it's just kind of like, it rotates and then. Okay. Nope, that wasn't it. Oh. No, nope, that wasn't it. See, I'm not bad at no, this. No, this is not. This no, is you're just not. a little. I think I think we're good. Okay. okay. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the same thing on this side, but these are just like normal pieces. So you want to pop those on. That goes right there, and the other one goes right here. I'm being silly again. There we go. Here, I'll let you do that one. You seem to be better at it than I am. Okay, and then that goes in the corner right there. Oops. You got to do one corner. I got to make you do one. There we go. Okay, now the next part of the Lego is these go over all of... Oops, let's not do that yet. Sorry, we got to screw in first. Okay, so there's that. Now what we're going to do is this is going to go in like this, which means this is... Okay, cool... We're good. Okay, so this is gonna go right like this on here. Okay, and then now we need our screws. I'm gonna have you use Excalibur again, yes. which is its name. That's what we call it, and it's very, it's very impressive. And I'm gonna have you take these right. These are 35, and then 30. Okay, so these are probably the right ones. Okay, so take the long screws and you're gonna screw them into each one of those holes and just make sure it should be lined up. It should just start screwing right in. Is it going in? Perfect. Yes. Okay, cool. So if you just wanna do those for all the long screws, we are in good shape. Okay. So what are, so like you're talking about vlogging, what about streaming? Is there gonna be anything you're gonna be adding to streaming? Uh, I'm not quite too sure yet. Okay. I think I do want to do more like just chatting because I feel like the thing I enjoy a lot about streaming is like talking, talking to people, like yapping a lot and just like rambling and getting to know people. Have, and have like, have you ever done like just a just chatting stream? Uh, I usually do it like in between or games. before or after games, whenever I'm eating. Um, I haven't really done one that's just, like just talking though. What is Chetty Cam? Chetty, Cheddar is my dog. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Okay, I was just, people are like, I miss it. And uh, somebody said you need to do a just chatting Lego building stream. I've done that sometimes. It just takes me a really okay. long time. Okay. Like, I, I'm not that great. I'm probably not nearly as good as you at Lego building. So like one small Lego would take me like four hours, five hours. So when you say small Lego, yeah. is that like tiny set or like a mid set? Like uh, like when you um, think about, do you remember the pieces count? I don't remember the count, but it's one of oh, the- Oh, what, what the, set did you do? The cars, one of the cars. Okay, so yeah. it was, it, was it the smaller cars or the, the bigger the cars? The smaller cars. Okay, okay, so the, so the speed, the speed, um, what are they called? The, I, I think I, I did the Lamborghini one, if okay. I remember okay. correctly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, and this PC is not for Chetty. Uh, this PC is for charity. <laughs> I mean, it's, so it's it's kind of the same. Uh, but um, li li honestly, like the yeah, the, the Lamborghini sets, and actually some of the speed um, the speed builds um, that they have, uh, the cars can actually be quite challenging uh, versus some of the normal ones. <clears throat> when I do the uh, so I've done the big Lamborghini, the Technic mm. one. That one took like 17 hours. Oh wow! Because building the engine alone, each bag. So like when you did like a bag, uh -huh. those were four hours a piece. So which oh, was actually oh. pretty crazy. Yeah. Um, and then I'm doing like I've done the I've done the Lamborghini and the McLaren, uh, and then now I have like the Bugatti, the Porsche, um, and all that sort of stuff. Um, that's actually kind of cool. What are like? Did you really just like, do you like Lego in general or? Uh, I think it's just like a fun mindless activity to right. do like while we're talking, because I think sometimes like, at least for me, I need some Speed sort champion. of- Thank you. Some sort of like stimulation. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I need to be doing something. Like sometimes I'll just play Valorant games, but I won't even like pay attention. I'll just be talking the whole time. 
I would uh, actually that would be impressive. So that is my Christmas gift. I've asked for it. I wanted the um, the new, um, basically the Star Destroyer, and then the Millennium Falcon. It would be actually interesting to see if you could build and how long it would take you to do the Lego Millennium Falcon. It's the it's the second largest set that they've ever done. It is bigger than this whole table, but it is epic. I mean, it would yeah the Venator yeah. So I've asked that my wife. I specifically like the Venator class, the brand new. So I've done the um, the um, uh, basically the um, UCS. Um, oh man, uh, freaking the Bounty Hunter. That one like that, that like that the new UCS one. So I'd like yeah the, not the gunship the. Dang it, now my mind is Razor Crest. Thank you very much. Uh, dude, Bob Jakey and I are now friends because he knows all the stuff that I, that I, yeah. So I did the Razor Crest and now I want to do the um, Ad At and then the, um, yeah. So they're, they're pretty epic. You need to build some more Lego. Lego is awesome. Do. <laughs> You're like, whatever. <laughs> no, if I, if I built something big, I would probably like accidentally drop it or something. Yeah, but it, I mean, they make great, they're like great on, they're like great visuals for like behind. Yeah. So like um, some of my favorite ones, I also did, did the Discovery, um, which was um, uh, the Land Rover, which actually was a really, really fun set. Mm. So I think the car ones actually end up being a lot of fun just because of how good they look. I really do want to do the Porsche one. The Porsche. GT2? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that one's absolutely epic. Okay, so now what you're going to do is you're going to cover all those up. Oh, this one's like a nice... Yep, so it makes it look super clean. There we go. Awesome. Honestly, the clicking kind of scares me, so this is this is nice. Yeah, it's just... it, it just But it makes it look really clean, yeah. right? Yeah. There we go. And you gotta, they only go one way. So, like, they might go up over here. Okay. Uh, nope. Down. There he goes. Nope. Flip it over. There you go. The corners are always the tricky ones because it's like only one way. It'll only work one way. I thought, I don't know why I thought it was like all universal. That one goes up over there. Perfect. <clears throat> and there you go. You've put the AIO together. Yay. There it is. Okay, so now let's go ahead and let you, we'll let you go ahead and install this. So, and then after that, we'll get to gaming. So what I'm gonna have you do is I'm gonna have you lift this up. And then what I'll do is I'll hold it in and then you will take the screws and you will screw it in and then we'll call it, we'll call it from there. So here you go, here's all your screws. I think I'm gonna see if I can find a normal size screwdriver because you and I are about the same height. So using that to screw in from the top would be very challenging and my arms would get very tired. Cool, okay, so what I'm gonna have you do, here's your normal screwdriver. We used to have a name for it, but I forgot what it was already. Okay, so I'm gonna hold, I'm gonna put this in. I'm gonna have you come over here and then go from there, perfect. I'm gonna slip it, the rest of that in, cool. And then we'll just go... Oh, it's all at the top. Yeah, it's all at the top. Hence why I didn't make you use the giant screwdriver, because that would have been be super fun for you. You're like, yeah, this is really great. I can't reach the... And I'm like sitting there the whole time holding it going, oh, my arms are tired. <laughs> I think you can move this a little bit. Which way? Oh, yeah. There you go. Okay. Thank you for giving me instruction versus just being like, well, this guy has no idea what he's doing. <laughs> I'm just going to have him hold it here and be polite. <clears throat> Makes my life a little bit easier. Can you move this this way? There we go. Perfect. I can do. I can. I can. I can definitely help you. <laughs> whatever it takes, <laughs> so we can actually get this PC built. So far, I think all of the part. I think when we turn it on, it'll actually. It'll actually turn on, guys. <clears throat> I'm gonna push it a little bit more. I think we're actually trapped now. Okay, good. There you go. Got some rotation. Uh, doing an all Lego PC has actually been done a number of times. In fact. PCMR just released a video of somebody building an entire PC out of Lego. So it was like a budget build because they couldn't afford a real PC. So they just built all the parts out of Lego, which was actually pretty cool. I think I saw someone build like a full on car that way, like a working car. Oh, yes. Yeah. yeah they did a Bugatti. Yes. Yeah. That was that actually one. crazy. Are you a bit, are you a car, are you a car fan or? Uh, I just started getting into cars recently. Okay. Yeah. Do you have like a particular favorite? Um, right now I really like the GR86. Okay. Um, but I'm a huge fan of Porsche. 
That was it. So we've actually, so there's been a number of us. So I, uh, so I just ordered my new car, which I think Ooh. we, we might be able to bring it up there. It's the 718, uh, GT, the, the 718, uh, RS, the, um, the GT, the GT four RS, but mm -hmm. it's the 718, the spider. So if we, we can bring that up. So the spider RS, um, huge Porsche fan. Um, oh. what's your favorite Porsche? If you had to name one, is it like your GT3 fan, like old school? I mean, I kind of just like the the general shape of them. I'm like not huge on okay. performance. I okay. really like the the design language that Porsche has. And somebody had a really good question. What are the specs we're building in this PC and how do I win it? So let's bring up the specs real quick right now. So here's what we actually have inside of it. We have the Intel Core i9-14900K desktop processor. We have the ASRock Phantom Gaming Z790 Z uh, Nova. Uh, that's the motherboard. It's um, for the graphics card, we're using the Zotac Gaming RTX 4070 Ti Trinity Overclock. For the SSD, we're using the four terabyte NM790 from Lexar, as well as their Lexar Ares DDR5 32 gig 6400 mega transfer RAM. For the case, we're using the Fantex NV5. For the fans, the Fantex D30s. Uh, for the cooler, the Fantex D30 360 millimeter AIO in black, which we just are installing right now. <clears throat> and then for the power supply, you're using the Fantex Amp 1000 watt black. Uh, it's a very, very nice PC coming in at $2,500. And again, you can win it. All you got to do is join the LandFest Dream Big. Uh, um, we actually have a, we're uh, <clears throat> doing the Land America event. We've got links for that. There it is right there. And you can get a chance. We'll be announcing the winner at DreamHack on December 18th, which will be super awesome. So we're just now getting the AIO installed. I'm struggling I think. with the last one. <laughs> Or maybe we're not. This this is, this will never happen. <clears throat> can you play Sims on it? Absolutely, you can. Sims will run very well. Is it just not lining up? Oh, oh it just oh, wasn't going go. straight. Yeah. It's so. I mean, like again, they they did a very good job with the machining for this, and there mm -hmm. it is. So you have put in all of the fun stuff. How does it feel? How what how, what have you thought of the building so far? I think it's pretty fun. I I thought it was going to be a lot harder. Honestly. <laughs> okay, well, we're going to do one more thing. This is the fun part. We're going to make sure we're going to essentially turn off the lights for the CPU forever. It will okay. never see the light of day. It'll literally be buried alive, which is, when you think about it, very sad. <clears throat> but what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this right here. I'm going to lay this down. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do a little bit of a pattern with this just to make sure that we get the coverage we need. We used to have a spatula, but maybe we don't. It's fine, it's fine, we'll be fine. <clears throat> so I'm gonna have you do this. And then what I'm gonna do is have you put a dot, a little, a pea-sized dot here, here, and here, 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 and here, and then here, here, and here. Okay. So yeah, there's not a ton of uh, thermal paste in there. So just like think of it like almost like a little, like just like a, like a little gumdrop maybe. Uh, no, bigger than, definitely bigger than that, sorry. There you go, just like that. And then just do that all the way across the top. There you go, just like that, perfect, perfect. Now do it in the middle. And really what we're doing, guys, is you, we can't over, we just wanna make sure there's more than enough thermal paste so it covers the entire IHS. <clears throat> and so that's where we're putting it in each spot. There we go, and there we go, perfect. There we go, so now we've got the thermal paste ready. Awesome. And then I have the little lid right here. There we go. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this. Oh. <laughs> okay, well, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove all that thermal paste we just installed. I didn't, I just thought, okay, I didn't think they actually had pre-applied thermal paste because they had given it to us. But, well, now you have practiced how to put thermal paste on. <laughs> It's a trial. <laughs> it was just a trial, guys. It would have, like, normally, uh, actually, what we're going to do is we're going to do it the other way because this will be a better cover. So what I'm going to do is go like this, and we're going to remove this thermal paste and use the thermal paste that you installed instead, which is actually how I normally do builds. There we go. You're just wiping it off with alcohol? Yeah, with isopropyl alcohol. Yeah. There we go. And then we'll grab another paper towel. Luckily, we were prepared for this situation. Yeah. 
Yes, we were just testing all of you guys. Yeah, you guys, we were... Yeah, I'm cleaning it off with, uh, I'm cleaning it off with milk. That's a really good idea. <laughs> That'd be gross. Okay, so there we go. Now we got a nice clean surface there, which is fine. Okay. So that's all clean. A little bit of a surprise, a little bit of a, uh, a difference there. Okay, so now what I need is these. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we are going to set this down just like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then what I'm gonna have you do is I'm gonna have you screw these down on each one of the screws. Perfect. And then you can just kind of stop. We'll do the rest with the screwdriver once you get all these started. Cool. And then now, what I'm gonna have you do is starting in the corner, tighten that, then tighten that, then tighten that, and then tighten that <laughs> until it stops. <laughs> and there we go. AIO is in. So now you've essentially got this PC almost to like the finish line. Almost there. Now what I got to do is when you're gaming, I'll put in all the other fans um, and because uh, we'll have fans in all of these different slots and then we'll get the PSU in and all the cable extensions in and then while you're gaming and then we'll uh, you'll come back and put in the GPU and turn it on. If it turns on. Don't be such <laughs> a, don't be a Debbie Downer. It will turn on. I'm just making it more like I'm adding plot armor. Oh, there we go. Yeah, exactly. We're trying to, yeah, we're trying to. So somebody said, is this PC for her when it's done? No, no, this PC is not for her. She is just coming in, wanting to learn. To, this is all part of a therapy thing for her as she gets over her performance anxiety. Mm -hmm. No, we're going to be giving this away at DreamHack um, to one lucky winner. You can donate towards an amazing cause, and that's how you can actually win this PC. Um, so you can win that, and you, we have links going up on a consistent basis on where to do that. Okay, guys. Well, now what we're going to do is we're going to take a nice 10-minute uh, break. Uh, we're going to get you. Uh, we're going to get Anita set up for basically doing some gaming, um, and then uh, we uh, will be back and we will finish building this PC. But that is all the stuff that is happening. So stay tuned. We will be right back.
What is up, everybody? Welcome back. Now it is time to bring in the gaming element. And then at the same time, we will be finishing, I will be finishing the build here. So you guys, when we're all said and done, the build will be completely done. But at the same time, we definitely want to make sure that Anita gets to show off her, like what she does best, right? I mean, she got to, we got, and plus I get to experience a little bit of her gaming skills, apparently legendary. Um, and so very, very excited for that. Um, let is, uh, Anita, are you there? I'm here and I'm ready. That's it. That's all she's got to say. <laughs> it's like, I'm here and I am ready. <laughs> okay, so what are we doing? We're, we're going to pop in. What is it that we're, what's the plan in terms of maximum entertainment? We're going to get some swift plays in, do a little gaming here and there. Maybe we can hear some, some randoms talking a little bit. <laughs> that's always the you fun know? part, right? Yeah, that's always fun. It's like, what is this person going to say? Exactly. Okay, what is swift, when you say swift plays, I've never heard that term before, what is that? So there's unrated modes, competitive modes, and then there's swift plays, which is okay. basically like the miniature version of the game instead of going to the full, like, first to 13, it's just first to five, I believe. Oh, okay. And so that's, and it's just, a, it's a little bit more of a, a time, a less time constraint, or more time open mode, I guess. Yes. Because it's just shorter, okay. And people, what what is that? What is it that your audience likes to watch the most? Is they are they more about the sweaty competitive or? Um, usually, they like watching me play competitive. I think it's fun to watch to see like how the games goes, especially like there's nothing that beats watching an overtime game live. I think like sweating and being like, oh my god, like who's gonna win? I think is the most fun for them. Okay. So, but we're not going to, none of that will probably happen today, I'm assuming. Probably not. I, there's a lot of sweatiness to it, and it gets a little bit too serious for me. <laughs> You're like, I don't like this. It's too intense. Yes. You like, you like, you like, are you just more into like the chill, like let's have a good time, still showing off my skills, but at the same time, like there's no cost. Um, I think I, I sometimes get like that, but more often than not, I get really competitive. That's the whole reason why I play it. I'm like, I want to win. I want to win so badly. You know what I mean? Uh, I used to, but then I realized <laughs> I got old and I'm not as good at games as anymore. I mean, it's funny. I, like, it's, I, like, I've always, like, I really like going back to playing FPSs. I mean, you know, at the same time, I've, I've had a chance to be a part of the design and making of some of the best in the in the in the industry, but I've learned very quickly that I like my skills just don't stack up anymore. So you know, I, I live vicariously through my son, who is like who plays a lot of COD and stuff like that now. Oh. But it's just like now I'm like, no, nope, that's not a world I got into. He's but every once in a while, I pretend. <laughs> <laughs> so you jumping in? Yes, I'm jumping in and going for it. Here we go, guys. What's up, Sniper Game? How are you, man? Don't worry, guys, there will be more gaming for sure. I know everybody is like, has actually really enjoyed that I've started going back into gaming, which is always fun. So don't worry, we got some more. We're trying to get, we're trying to get uh, Blondie to join us on some PUBG, guys. So hopefully we'll maybe make some stuff like that happen. But have you, are you a BR fan? Have you played any BRs or? I have no idea what BR is. Oh, sorry, <laughs> Battle Royale. Like, uh, oh, oh. Um. I played Fortnite for like a month and I didn't like the third person. Okay. Um, I played Apex, but I really, really only liked their arena. I thought that was super fun. Like being able to respawn all the time and just run it down. Okay. Okay. So it's like you, you've tried it, but it's not really a game play style that you really enjoy. I mean, a game yeah. that you really enjoy. It just get, it takes too long to get into it. You know what I mean? Yeah. But the the one thing that's also nice about it though is that like no no game is ever the same, right? Mm -hmm. um, versus like the maps on like arena based shooters like Halo or um, Valorant or Overwatch, right? Like the the games. I mean, even though you have the obviously the skill that goes with the player, but for the most part, the games follow the same formula every time. Yeah, it's so. it's nice like being able to pick and choose what game yeah. you like to play. Okay, so we're getting in. And so this is this Swift that you're playing. Oh yeah, there's Swift play right there. Okay. And are you playing with people you know, or are you okay with randoms? These are all just random people. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a, you're rolling the dice already. Yep. Seeing how lucky I am today. Have you ever like has has a random ever made you want to rage quit? Very often, yes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> 
So it's not just me. It's yeah, yeah. everybody deals with them. It's a very universal game experience. <laughs> You're like, it's terrible, and everybody gets to experience it. It still sucks. Mm -hmm. Okay. So have you have you seen any other games that like um, like uh, that are coming out that have interested you or other arena shooters that might be uh, things you might try? I think I tried Ghost Runner two for a little bit. Oh wow! I had a lot of fun, um, but I just haven't had time to like download it again. Multiple enemies. Hey. Focusing. Here we go. It's starting. Oh, I got one. Okay, so you're already starting off strong. See if I can keep it up. You're filling everybody with a lot of confidence. This is adding to my performance anxiety. <laughs> <laughs> Have you got to do a lot more, like a lot of activations like this before? Is this like something that you do pretty regularly? Um, not anything like this. Usually I just play and go. Ah. Did you win? Nope. Okay. But it's okay. I got my one. <laughs> you got your one. You're like, at least I wasn't, it was like, you can say it wasn't my fault. Yep. And who are your, do you play by the, with the same character the whole time or do you switch off? Oh no. I, I know a lot of people like main characters, but I play literally everybody cause I get so like bored. Got I'm like, it. oh, I'm, I'm getting pretty good at this person. And now I'm like, okay, now what? <laughs> You just want you like you like variety like kind of all up. Yeah. Like it's an it looks like it's an important part of your. Have you ever thought? Do you think you'll ever go to variety streaming? Uh, I think it's something that I would try out. I think I would only really do it with like other people, like multiplayer games. Like I think I've done Party Animals a little bit, and that was fun. That game is awesome. Yeah. It's also really bad for friendships and relationships. If you know that you, if you want to find out if you can really be married to somebody, that's what you do. You play party animals with them, and if your marriage survives that, your relationship survives that, then you guys can absolutely make it forever. I heard that Overcooked is the real yes, relationship is. tester. It is. Have you have you done that yet? Have you tested your relationship in that way? Uh, we've tested it in uh, Mario Kart, but that's about it. That's that's <laughs> not that's. I mean. No, I don't think you've really tested it yet. We're going to find out. I feel like that's an upcoming stream, guys. We'll, we'll try it out. We'll try it out. Because <laughs> we're both very, very competitive, so it might be a little, a little dangerous. Dang. But you got to know. You got to find out if, if, they're, if they're in it, if they're going to stick with you, even though you mm. crush them in games. Or, oh, dude, the better thing is, like, the partnership. Like, that's right, because over, Overcooked. Have you played it at all? Uh, I played it for like a couple hours, I think, but it was a really long time ago. Okay. Oh, apparently, it's not that way. Let's try it the other way. Oh no! Are you dead? Yup. We're getting kind of stomped right now. Uh, can you fix that? Can you can you can you play better? Um. <laughs> Yeah, let me let me scooch in a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's, like, what are that like? Is uh, now it's time to put on the real stuff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh man! No judging. I'm I'm pretty sure everybody's judging you, but I'm gonna try and make <laughs> you feel better. <laughs> no pressure. No pressure, but everybody's judging you. All right, let's see what I can pull off. What is like? Have you have you done like? Uh, are we gonna see an ace? Uh, I will try my best, but no promises. Okay, guys, you heard it. Three aces on the show. She promised. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't even kill one person. <laughs> so have you ever done any, like, meet and greets? Like, had uh, got to meet some of your fans or the community members that you have? I have not yet. Um, I think the only time that I got close to something like that was Valorant Champions in LA. It's okay. just like a bunch of Valorant fans and then I got to meet a lot of people that are in my chat pretty regularly, which I thought was really cool. Um, I think my biggest fear about like... I feel like I it's hard for me to be like very open. Um, 
I feel like I'd be honestly very awkward to meet, but I would love to meet like everybody that watches me. <laughs> <laughs> Why? What is it? What is it that you think would be awkward about it? Like, what? What would be? You just don't think that you come off the same in in real yeah, life? Is think, that what you mean? I think it's just kind of like hard for me to process. I'm like, because usually I'm just looking at chat. And right. I don't, I don't see faces and whatsoever. So sometimes I have a really hard time processing. Like, you know me. <laughs> you know <laughs> what I mean? I can understand that. Yeah. yeah. Like I think every time like I've gotten recognized, I'm never like really prepared for it, or like I, I never really expect it to happen. So when it does, it's like. You're just like then you're. It's almost like a deer in headlights. Like oh uh, yeah, I'm. I'm like probably I, as like flabbergasted as they are. <laughs> you're like hi, uh, thanks, bye. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what now? Yeah. How's the the PC looking? It is. Uh, I'm just hooking up. All, now I'm just hooking up all the connections that make sure that it actually works. So this is always the fun right. part. The big part is I got to do, you know how you did all that Lego earlier? Now I have to go do all that Lego here in a minute mm -hmm. to make the rest of the build function. Because there's like actually quite a few fans that we had, we are not installed in this build right now. So I'm just hooking up the stuff that like makes it run. And the only two is for some reason I have white zip ties, guys, for the back. So I'm trying to, I'm getting ready to do a little bit of cable management, <clears throat> which I is like it, making it the PC nice look good in the back. The, the Lego fans. Yeah, exactly. I'm I like Lego fans who are like, this guy knows nothing about Lego, even though he likes building us. Remember, no backwards fans. Thank you, Fozzy. It's funny. I appreciate that. Luckily, because of the fans that we're doing, we can't do backwards fans. You have to, they'll all look right, no matter what I do. <laughs> did you, oh, it says you won. We got one. <laughs> we did it. All right, this is where we turn it around. Hopefully. Well, it's like it's funny because like defense versus offense, right? Like it can go one way versus the other and then it'll completely switch. I remember that's one thing about CSGO is you'd watch like a pro CSGO match and you'd be like, these guys are getting stomped. But then it's because on defense, they were actually able to stop like one or two things that then on offense when they like went and just crushed. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Have you have you heard of the 9-3 curse? No. So in, in Valorant, you know how it goes to 13 rounds? Yeah. If it's the scoreline is like 9-3, there's like a curse that it'll just like go the complete opposite direction. Oh, really? Yeah. Do you, do you find that that's mostly true? Honestly, yeah. As long, oh, as, long as you get like a team that like believes in it too. <laughs> so you have to, you have to like before you get out, hey, do you, are you the 9-3 curse? Do you believe in that? Like yeah. I just need to know because that's going to be really important. Mm -hmm. Just in case we lose. Just like a couple couple rounds. The nine three curse. How did you find out about the nine three curse? I think it, it happened in pro play and then became like a big um, meme in the community. And then everyone's like, oh my god, nine three nine three. Like every time like we're up nine and then the other team has three. If somebody in my chat says, oh my god, no, the nine three curse, and then we end up losing, they're gone for the day. Banned oh for really? The day. <laughs> Oh, snap. They're, they're, they're like carrying the, the curse, yeah. Okay, well, right now it's 1 4, so we're okay. 30 seconds left. Uh, hopefully. Do you, wait, like, has, has, there, has there ever been a point when you're just like, I don't, like, it's, it's so bad, you're like, I just don't want to play anymore, like, yes. with the game? Yes. Usually you can tell, like, if a team has, like, really bad morales or, like, just nobody believes or cares anymore is kind of just like a done game. Um, I think there's always a lesson to be learned with like losing, because if you're not winning the game, oh, at least you can um, get some get something out of it, you know? Right, right. Um, but it's sometimes like, it's not even worth it. Well, it's like they they have said, right? Like you you can't get better if you always win, right? Yeah, yeah. But then the excuse is, well, I'm always winning, so why do I need to get better? <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever, like, have you ever just, like, wanted to start, like, a new round and then, like, match make with noobs and then just stomp them for a little while? Um, honestly, no. I think I, like, when I made a, an alternative account, so right now I have two accounts in the same rank. Right. That it, it doesn't feel like so much pressure to play, like, Top on tier. one account. Um, 
I think when I first started the other account, it was a little bit lower and it, it felt not that great because it was like either curb stomps or like I was getting annoyed like, oh my gosh, why aren't these people Match like down. doing this and that, but they're not oh. up there. You but know they're not I mean? playing at your, at, yeah. what you, at, the, at the level you're used to. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I've learned and you just can't really get mad at them because it's just like, I can't. They don't know them. any better. Yeah. That's like if you would play with me, you'd be like, why is this guy <laughs> running in circles staring up at the sky? Like, that is... I mean, I, I have a different mindset when I, like, play with other people. Um, because, like, I think going in alone or, like, head first is like, all right, I'm going to mentally prepare for this. Like, I really want to win. I want to do my best. And then when I'm playing with other people, it's like, okay, I just want to have fun. Yeah. It's just, it's, it's a different, it's like a different kind of almost gameplay at that point in time. Mm -hmm. like what you're doing now you don't have the mindset of like you need to win yeah like it'd be nice to win but like it doesn't really bother me much at all because you're, you're here you know you've got a lot of distractions you got this random dude building a pc at the same time <laughs> are you supposed to be able to focus with all that kind of distraction exactly exactly it's my fault i see how it is <laughs> no 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 we'll we'll win this next one for you oh and the nine three curse happens mm -hmm. dang it now I'm going to be looking and like literally just going to be going and trolling Valorant players and be like, 9-3 curse, 9-3 curse. <laughs> and it won't be, even be 9-3. And then they're like, <laughs> just, what, are it doesn't matter. what are you talking about? <laughs> Maybe I should go around doing that. <laughs> you should think that's, there's a video idea for you. Just test to see if they're even ready if it happens. Yeah, they're like, like you mess them up because they think it's almost 9-3 and it's not. You know, like, wait, what? No, it wasn't even 9-3. Mm -hmm. Okay. There's a, I think a college team on the other. Really? On the other end. Okay, so for people who are watching right now, because um, we've been we've been talking a lot about gaming, and some people are like, "What's going on with the PC? How do we give away the PC? How do I win this?" Because I saw PC giveaway in the title, and you're like, "Roby, I need to I need to get in on that." Well, here's what's happening, guys. We are giving this PC away. The way to win it is to head over to links that are showing up in the chat. Those links lead to uh, LAN America, which is a part of the LANFest Dream Big campaign. It's part of their 20-year anniversary. Uh, what they are doing uh, is they are giving this away in partnership with CLX and Intel. Um, you can donate, and then that enters you to win automatically. When, and then on December 18th at DreamHack, we will be announcing the winner of this PC that both myself and Anita built live. It will work by then, we promise. Um, and so uh, we'll, be, uh, we'll be showing, uh, you guys will get to see it at the very end, and then of course you could potentially walk away with this really awesome PC. And for more information, you guys, you can just click on the link there and find out all about it. Or you can do, if you're on Intel, you can just do exclamation point land fest in chat, and then that'll get you the information as well. We can go through the parts. Actually, why don't we go and do that real quick? Let's just go through the parts that we have inside of this build. So what we have inside of it is a Core i9-14900K desktop processor. We have the ASRock Phantom Gaming Z790 Nova, uh, the Zotac Gaming RTX 4070 Ti, the Trinity Overclock Edition. We have four terabyte NVMe, their NM790 from Lexar, as well as Lexar's Ares DDR5 6400 mega transfer RAM, and we got 32 gigs of that. We have the Fantex NV5 chassis, along with the Fantex D30 fans that are gonna fill out this entire build. And then we're cooling this with the Fantex D30 360 millimeter AIO, and the Fantex Amp 1000 watt black PSU is the PSU we're using to power um, all of the stuff. So you actually have some expansion there, but this is just a really great build. Uh, inside of this kind of this particular chassis um, in terms of just being cooling capacity and everything else. So that's what we have. And then in terms of where we're at from the build standpoint, here it is right here. We've got all of the, we got the AIO installed. Everything's hooked up there. Now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna install the extra fans, get the cable extensions in, and then move on from there. So it's actually cooking, cooking along nicely. Um, and it should, it's gonna, it's gonna turn out to be a very, very attractive build. I love these fans because, and then everything will be hooked up to the RGB button on the top of the NV5. So we'll be able to let uh, Anita choose whatever color we're actually gonna use uh, in uh, the build. But now what I'm gonna do is grab all our fans and get these hooked up. Okay, Anita, did you win? 
Uh, I actually hit some crazy shots while you were talking. What? <laughs> yeah, I know. That's so unfortunate. Yeah, that's the way it always is. Dang it. Like, the person I, I, I got on the other team was like, bro, truce. Truce <laughs> <laughs> See if I can do it again. Oh gosh. I believe in you. This is a regular no. fan. This is our exhaust fan. Spike down mid. The spike's down. Oh, it looks like our teammate made some friends on the other team. <laughs> Well, this is the thing that I really like about Swift Plays is like stuff like this happens. Oh, really? Like one of our teammates are <laughs> making friends, and then the other one is <laughs> is caged up. You're like, you are very useful to the team right now by not helping us at all. <laughs> I got the spike. Thirty seconds left. There. Okay, now it's time to hook up this. Oh. My game all tabbed. Oh, that, what happened? My game all tabbed. Uh oh. Should be uh, back in a second. Oh man. Seconds left. One enemy remaining. Okay, oh. there we go. I'm putting all the Lego together on this fan now. Oh. What happened? Oh. <laughs> the knife. <laughs> The knife skills. <laughs> Does this have like the same thing as CSGO in terms of like knives end up being like the most like the most sought after items? Uh, we, unfortunately, you can't sell any of like the stuff that you buy. Oh. Um, so it's well, not really like the it, same. Yeah, it's not really the same in terms of like the market, but. Style-wise, I think it's pretty similar. Got it. Have you played any CS, like CSGO 2? Yeah, I played a, a little bit of CSGO 2. I liked it. I just didn't really like it. Art style. It. Yeah, the art style. I also didn't like that, like, cause for Valorant, you can, you can hear when you kill someone, but in CS, you don't really hear it. Got it. Guys, we are going to take a quick three-minute break. We will be right back. Uh, we're just going to fix uh, something real quick, and then we'll be right back, guys. We'll see you guys in three minutes.
What is up, guys? We are currently just back in building. Thank you very much for your patience. Uh, we are getting everything reset up and a little bit of some fixing there, so appreciate it. But um, we are back. For those of you who don't know, welcome to Mod Workshop. Mod Workshop is a show uh, dedicated to PC building and then showing you guys uh, some of the latest, greatest, uh, both not just with... Um, regular PCs, but also from companies like CLX. We've had uh, other pre-built companies like Starforge, etc. And today we are working and partnering with CLX uh, and LandFest uh, by building a PC that you can win uh, as part of the LAN America effort that they're doing as part of their Dream Big campaign that we're going to be announcing the winner of this PC at DreamHack Atlanta. Uh, I am joined by uh, Anita, um, who is uh, currently playing uh, Valorant. Uh, and we are, she, we finished building a lot of the PC and then we're, what she's doing is she's playing games while I finish up the build. And so that's what you guys are kind of seeing here um, in terms of, and there she is right there. And it says one, I, we come in right as it says one. Mm -hmm. Good timing. I feel like you're hacking, like. <laughs> hacking. <laughs> I'm just kidding, no. Is there, are there a lot of cheaters in Valorant? I think there's a good amount. I don't think it's anything like unplayable. Okay. Um, I know it's a thing where people go on TikTok and then they like randomly you'll see the lives of people cheating. Right. And it's like the most absurd thing. Um, and I know like I think a couple days ago I played against some cheaters and it was not fun. Yeah, I'm <laughs> sure. It, it doesn't happen very often. It's not. It's not like a widespread <laughs> thing. Yeah. I will say that I do know some of the stuff, like you talk about the randoms, like there's been some really funny TikToks of like, hey, you know, where somebody go up and is like, so how's this game? And they're like, hey, well, here's the thing. Don't be racist. This is my 27th account. You know what I mean? Because like they'll get banned a lot or whatever it was. So um, there's some there's some funny kind of meme-ish stuff around there. But you say randoms can say some of the funniest things sometimes, right? Yeah, they're very, um, they get very comfortable very fast. <laughs> that's for sure. <laughs> I'm surprised that hasn't happened yet. I don't know. Is it mute? Do, do we have it muted? Um, oh, it might be muted. I think on either either way, like, I haven't heard any of it on my end. Oh, got it, got it, got it. Sudden death. Maybe at some point we will. We need some of that classic entertainment from the uh, from the random. Has there, what is some of the funniest stuff you've heard? Oh my god, I think I heard someone use like an AI voice changer. Oh no. And they, their name was Tesla. And I, it was like the, the end of my five hour stream, I was so tired and they were just changing their voice all the time and it did not feel real. And I was like, what is happening? You were like, were you, were, would you have preferred them not to do it? Honestly, if I... If I was not tired, it would have been really funny, but because I was so tired, I was like, I feel like this is not happening right now, and I'm just, like, imagining things. Is five hours just... What's the longest stream you've ever done? I think, um, 16. Holy moly, 16 hours. I know some people who go, like, days of streaming, so I feel like, for, from my perspective, 16 is a little bit low. I think the long, so I've done 24 hours. I've done 24 hours as part of Extra Life. Yeah. So I did that. I actually fell asleep during that stream. So they had to send somebody to wake me up. <laughs> <laughs> I, so like, I, I've learned don't play Minecraft at four in the morning because the music put me to sleep. So I literally was just sleeping oh on stream gosh, for like yeah. two hours. Um, oh I was just, yeah. And I, so literally, and I still held... Like 250 people just watching me sleep, which is creepy. Um, so, which was actually pretty crazy. And we ended up raising like three grand, um, oh, wow. which was during that time. So I got like, it was like, literally, I was like, I've raised more money sleeping than I ever expected. Um, and then, uh, but then the longest PC build I've ever done was 12 hours straight. So that was a 12 hour, basically oh the, we did a, we did a custom Halo water cooled build and it took 12 hours from beginning to end. So that was like. 12 hours of building nonstop, which was actually pretty crazy. But still, 16 hours, that is a lot of time. I can't imagine, like, building for, for 12 hours. It wasn't, it actually wasn't that bad because uh -huh. you would, it, it, you're so, you're so focused 
And then when you got done, you're like, holy moly, it's been 12 hours, right? I had no idea. It would be something else, like if you were doing something and like you looked up and you were like, I have to do this for 12 hours and it's only two hours in and I'm super tired, you know what I mean? Yeah. It was just one of those things. But when I was done, I was like, I was, I was like emotionally, I was just like done, done. I would imagine, yeah. So what is the, uh, what is the, the coolest thing you've ever done on stream? Coolest thing? Oh, we're grilling you. They're learning all about you. This is like the <laughs> Oprah Winfrey of, 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 of interviews right here. People are going to get to know you. I can't really think of too much. I feel like my, my streams like, are like very like chill and nothing like too insane happens. I think whenever I have like um, big special guests and I think I had Ryan Hugo one time. And I was like fangirling the whole time. I think that was like one of the coolest things because I grew up watching him. Right. Yeah. Well, that's kind of cool. What was that for? He just wanted to stream with you or? Yeah, we were five stacking with um, a bunch of other people. I think with Josh and Abe and a couple of others. And then they were like, well, let's invite Ryan. And I was like, okay. <laughs> You're like, <laughs> sure. Mm -hmm. Let me just, uh, let me just go. Uh, I'm going to go in the back and. Uh, I'll be back in a, a little bit and, and, and then I'll, I'll be back and back, act normal. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So that was, was that pretty cool when that like, was that like surreal when you got to do something like that and you got to do it with somebody you really knew? Yeah, I, um, I, I think my brother, my little brother actually texted me like during the stream and he was like, there is no way you're playing with Ryan right now. And I was like, I know. <laughs> I like how he called him Ryan. Yeah. Like, we're on a first name basis. <laughs> What's up, Ryan? Hey, Ryan. You, do you call him now? Is he in your phone? Do you text him? Oh, no, no, no. That was like, I think, the last interaction we had so far. But hopefully more. You're like, it, it, not the end. Yes. This is the I beginning a of a beautiful he was, friendship. He was, he was incredibly, like, chilled to play with, which I really liked. Nice. Well, I mean, that's always, that's always a better circumstance, right? Mm -hmm. Versus, like, you play with somebody and you're like, hey, remember, I, I thought I liked this guy, but he's a douche. No. <laughs> <laughs> Thankfully, we haven't had that happen yet. So. Good, good. Is there anybody you still, like, you wish that you could play with? Like, who's on your, like, your wish list of people to stream or play games with? Probably Valkyrie. Okay, Valkyrie. oh, yeah. And, um, I met her at the 100 Thieves thing, yeah. She is, I've been watching her probably the longest out of all the gamers that I've watched. And I love her. I've I've always I think I've been following her since Fortnite, even though I didn't really play it. Like I just always watched her YouTube videos, and that was even before I knew Twitch was a the thing. Wow, that's cool. But sh so far, no no chance to play with her yet. Not yet. But Hopefully it's gonna happen in the future. It's gonna happen. This is the launch platform. This is it right here. She's watching right now. Mm -hmm. Not really, but we can dream. <laughs> I could text Nicewig and maybe he can t tell her to come watch and say hi. <laughs> Hopefully. That would be honestly a dream. <laughs> it's like, Nicewig, tell Valkyrie to come watch. <laughs> Dude, some of the, I mean, some of the 100 Thieves guys are freaking awesome. They have, a, they have some, really cool, some really cool content creators. <clears throat> oh. So how are we, how's the win? Have you, guys, have you been winning yet or no? We won one game, thankfully. So you're feeling a little bit better. You're feeling more in your groove now? We're still waiting for the, the three aces that you promised. We'll, we'll see, we'll see. <laughs> Such a cool customer about it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here putting the Lego together for the other, the other fan, set of fans. Ugh. How many how many fans are in the computer? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight fans. Ooh. And you just installed you've you've you installed three of them. I'm currently putting in the second set of three, and we've already just put in the exhaust fan, so we only have one more fan after this. So then it'll all be done. It's just about getting them all hooked up. Oh no. These corner man, these corner pieces are always the hardest. Sit down with Roby, yeah, and tell all about it. Yeah, tell. So, um, what did your think? What did your parents think about you and your streaming career and all that sort of stuff? Were they like, 
supportive of it from the beginning or? Um, I think they were pretty supportive. I think they were just kind of confused. Oh, okay. Um, because they're used to like the nine to fives. You're right. Yeah, that makes sense. I've always had that kind of that, that kind of discussion. Well, guys, while she's getting set up in the next game, and the next game and getting all that stuff set up again, we are currently building an epic rig that somebody is going to get to take home uh, that you have seen in partnership. Hopefully, uh, for those of you who are uh, uh, part of Anita's community, what have you guys thought about the PC building side of things, right? Like, have you enjoyed this format and getting to see stuff? Have you learned anything? We're hoping that you guys are also learning and seeing uh, PC building and stuff like that, something that's uh, a little bit new, hopefully, to you in the community. So hopefully. Um, and then, again, huge shout out to Intel and obviously uh, CLX uh, and then the folks over at LandFest for allowing us to uh, build this PC and show it off here on the show, which has always been a lot of fun. And uh, going from there. So yeah, it's been, uh, it's been an epic experience thus far for me. And uh, I think so much even for her, for Anita, uh, who is getting currently set up right now. So, oops, I'm dropping cables everywhere, guys. <laughs> going from that. So um, we are, these are currently the Fantex D30 fans. That's what I'm working on right now. And I'm just getting these mm -hmm. installed. So that's what we're working on right here. And getting everything kind of run. So it looks all professional and beauty, beautiful, which is super important, like for any PC that you're gonna give away. So we're gonna go like this. Straight, get this over. It is locked on. And then, there we go. Bring that like that, okay, cool. Now we just gotta make it look good. There it is, okay. It's locked to 60 right So we're gonna making this look nice. Just gotta line that up. So this is the last of the fans. Oops, I should take these out of the bag. Please don't fall. Please don't fall. Take these out of the the bag. So I can get this installed real quick. Oh, it looks like we're back. We're back to gaming. Okay, here we go, guys. Pull this up. And get this straightened. I'm, you're, the build's going to look pretty different when you finally come back. I'm excited to see it. It's all white now. Oh. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> you're like, painted the case at this time, too? I painted the case. <laughs> yeah. You're like, you come back and it's like in a different case. It's like so different. You're like, wait a minute. This isn't even, is this even the same build? No trust. <laughs> So when when you uh, when you were when your parents when you kind of got into it did they, what, I mean they were supportive but did they do like maybe you should have like a backup plan or? Mm -hmm. um, I was in college at the time and I was in college for UI UX design so I was like, actually I was the one that was like I should have a backup so I was like all right I'm gonna finish college early, and get all my get take more classes and then. Um, Later on, I was like, okay, I'm going to give, I graduated early, I'm going to give myself a year and see if I can make it. I got this, I got and, this, you got to trust me, alright? And right. if I don't, then I'll just go back to UI UX. Are you going to trust that guy? You said you should trust him. Uh, he not says, really. I don't says, trust I anybody this. in Valorant, so. I got this, I got this, you can trust me. I don't even know what he's, what he wants, what he's going to trust you to do. Uh, I hope nothing. <laughs> <laughs> so UI UX, do does any? I'm I'm curious if Chat knows what that is. That's an interesting, that's an interesting job. So UI UX is all of the stuff that's all around the screen that gives you the information for um, the game, right? So for instance, then UX, a lot of science in that. Mm -hmm. um, did you ever work in UI UX at all? Um, I did some projects, so I, I think when we first started using Zoom because of COVID, I did a redesign project, um, and all this stuff that I, like, I, it was like a personal project of stuff that I would change, a lot of the changes actually ended up happening, so that was 
That was good on my end. Right, um, you were like, I, I'm pretty good at this. Yeah, I'm pretty good at this. Um, but then I also was a part of a group on campus at our school where we did um, websites from scratch for nonprofit organizations. So I did a lot of the UI end, and then I had um, a front end and back end programmer that I was talking to the whole time. So, there, so some of your work is actually live on the interwebs now? Yes. So where, if somebody wanted to go look at your UI UX design, where would they go? Um, I think the, the group was called hashtag include at UC Davis. Um, I think some of my work was like a couple years ago, nothing like too recent. Last player standing. Are you the last player standing? Nope. You, oh. oh, you were. Was, was. Was, key, key operative word. Match point. Trust me, say we make mistakes. So this is actually, I mean, you get through these rounds pretty quick at this way. Yeah, that's why I like I like these games. Like if they're not going that well, then after five rounds we're we're kind of done. You're on to a new level. Yeah. No nine three curse at that point in time. Mm -hmm. Nothing to worry about because it won't it won't happen. <laughs> Ugh. Okay, okay, so we got that in. We have one more fan to get in. <sighs> Finally getting through all the fans. Takes forever. Little pieces. Yep. But after this, I'm done with them. My hand hurts a little bit from all of the uh, putting in a screws. Okay. So now are you going to start doing PC builds on your channel? Uh, I don't know if I have confidence to do it on my own, but... <laughs> Come on, you can do it. We'll see, we'll see. <laughs> you should just start with something easy, like a $35,000 build, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If I, if I mess it up, it's no big deal. Exactly. Mm -hmm. If it's sponsored, you're, you're fine. Like, yeah, I'm chilling. It's so. their money. Not yours. <laughs> I don't have to worry about that. Exactly. All right. Are we looking good for another game? Or oh, you've got. Gonna... You've still got a lot of time. All right. Sick. You got two years. Oh, two years of Valorant. No, oh, yeah, two years of Valorant. Yeah, uh, you didn't think it was going to be easy, right? I think I. I'm going to put in my two weeks right here. <laughs> <laughs> That'd still be a lot of Valorant if you had to play it for two, two weeks. weeks straight. Yeah, that <laughs> would like, be a I lot. I'm so done with this game. Yeah. If you, it, like, if, if we were going to make it worse, what if we said you had to do two weeks, but it only was the same character for that whole two weeks? Yo, 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 Jed, Jed. Oh, man. Um, yeah, I'd probably just turn my brain off. <laughs> I don't know if I could handle that. <laughs> like, all the same character? Who would yeah. be, like, your least, like, who's your least favorite, or do you have a least favorite? I feel like... There are characters that are like not that great right now, but there's also some characters that I just physically cannot play, like Neon. I see all these people like running around and I'm like, how do you how do you do that? You know what I mean? Um, so I think not because of her character, but quite literally because I physically cannot play her. You're just like, it's just, you're incapable. Yeah, I'm in, I've tried. Um, I think it's already like, good on me that I know how to play a lot of these characters, but that one I just can't do. <laughs> no, what is it about what is it about that particular character that's so hard? Um she just has like she's a lot faster than all of the other characters. All of the other characters don't really move or like if they move really fast it's like a one time thing. Oh she she's like a oh you can speed up on her and like um go super fast. Um, so it's significantly different. Yes, it's very different. I think her play style is a lot different than other agents, and I just can't. I, my brain cannot wrap it like wrap around that. And have you given it? You've given it the old college try. Yes, multiple times. <laughs> Especially when she first came out, I was like, "Oh yeah, I'm gonna make some content about um, this new character." And I was playing her for a bit, and it was so hard to get like good gameplay clips out of that. Because you just weren't able I, to. Like, I just could not do it, yeah. Interesting. 
But a lot of people, there are people who are very good at playing. Yes, I've seen some in like incredibly talented people play them, and they have no issue with them. They're like, I don't understand what the problem is. I'm great. <laughs> so if you were, do you think you would ever go back to where your, to what your university degree was in? Um, I don't think so, just because like, I, I liked art. But I felt like design was too corporate for me, mm. um, and it just felt like a safe like landing zone. Um, I felt like I, it's. I don't think that I was bad at it. I think it was just like I wanted more out of it. Like I didn't feel very. Um, what's the word? Like not complete, but satisfied. I guess. Right. Like um, I w I wanted to feel like really proud of the stuff that I was doing that I was having a lot of fun with the stuff that I was doing but that just wasn't for me personally I know a lot of people really really enjoy it though like I still keep up with my um, friends from the program and they're doing like amazing stuff but just wasn't your wasn't, this wasn't your my cup calling of tea. yeah I think it helps a lot with like streaming though because in our program they taught us a lot about um like purpose of designs and then also understanding like how other people view things, what's best for other people and then brand identity and things like that. It helps a lot when you're streaming. Cause I, I notice a lot of these things that like, especially when people ask me like, how, how do you like grow as a streamer? I see a lot of the stuff that I guess they don't see because of like the stuff that I've learned formally in college. Oh, okay. So you feel like it's, it's made you a better streamer because of the um, because you now can look at it from the people your almost your other your your audience's perspective. Yeah, yeah. Which is why you came up with the name you did and thought about all that stuff <laughs> way more than the rest of us who are like Definitely. Poop cactus sounds awesome. Let's do that. <laughs> Dude, these corner pieces. Okay, there we go. Got it. Okay. Oh man, I, I just realized I didn't put all the parts on the other fans. They're all installed, and I forgot to put them in. Oh I'm like, man. I gotta go put. I gotta go. Gotta put all the Lego pieces on. I forgot to do that. Dang it. It's an easy fix though. Okay, last set of fans is in. Okay. You feel like it's going better? Or? Have you won like a whole thing yet? I think I've only won one, but it's okay. You're like, it's, hey, it's not a competition, Roby. We're here for fun. Yes, we're here for fun. I'm going to take a deep breath. Have you ever had to like, have you ever, ever had to like try and detach and be like, I'm supposed to be enjoying myself right now? Yeah, I think sometimes I get too into it or you get those teammates that are like, either sexist or racist or whatever it is and it just gets a lot um sometimes you just need to take like a breather and that's when you like do like a just chatting section or something like that yeah or like switch to sub games usually i like playing those like every usually every stream i do it um where it's just like i invite people who are sub to me on twitch to play some five mans or ten mans are those some of your favorites? Yes. I have a lot of fun because they're... I, I realize like going into like teams with random people, they have no idea who you are and it's not like... You don't know if they're friendly or not, but then it's always like a safe space in sub games. I can kind of just like be myself and... They're down. And, they're already yeah. in. They're already, they're already bought in on what's yeah. happening. Mm -hmm. That's kind of cool. The couple times I've got to do it, it's been a lot of fun. Yeah, I, I especially like in custom games, you can talk to the people on the other team. It gets oh. really, really like, funny. And then, uh, what are, have you, like, have you, are you going to do anything cool for, like, your stream anniversaries? Is there stuff that you guys ever do about that? Or, like, subathons and stuff like that? Is that other things that you kind of work on, or no? I've been wanting to do one for my birthday from last month, but I didn't ever get a chance to, so I'm planning one for the next, or this, probably in a couple weeks. 
so we'll see we'll see how that goes um we're still like coming up with some ideas and whatnot and who who do you work with to come up with ideas is it like you and your significant other or yeah you, usually yeah. usually it's just my significant other he um used to do my youtube channel but now i'm i'm more hands-on on it um, okay he he does a lot of like what my my agent calls like managerial work for me like i always run ideas through him or like we just talk about content um like if i'm going through like a i don't know what to do type of point so he'll be like help you get out of a rut yes that's kind of cool that's nice to be able to share that with uh share that and have that like that sounding board so to speak yeah he also um He's a producer for esports, so he he understands a lot more of the, oh. the video side of things, and then also has to come up with ideas for his job. So it's just doing his job again, but for <laughs> for, for free. For free. Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't charge you. Nope. Uh, oh man, you should pay him. Just kidding. I mean, I'll take him out to dinner. Here, <laughs> you know. you're like you're like this is your pay. Appreciate you. <laughs> The worst would be like you take him out to dinner and then say, "Hey, we want to. I need to talk about some other ideas." <laughs> <laughs> just the whole time is just like actually just a, a thinking. It's session. a work. It's a third. Yeah. It's a work. No, that's cool. Um, have you ever like even though you've never did you ever try competitive? Like you talk about the anxiety, but have you ever just given it a go? Like at least even on a small scale to see how you would do. Oh my gosh, I, I did, but it was like completely last minute because one of my um, friends was playing in the Knights tournament. It's like a bigger like tier one, tier two, tier three tournament. Okay. And they were like, yo, it's in two days. Do you want to sub in? And I was like, I've never played a scrim before. I've never been on a team, but I'll scrim for the first time for like two hours the night before. And it didn't go well, but like, <laughs> scribbing was fun. <laughs> That's funny. But you, but even then, you did. You were like, yeah, this isn't for me. Yeah. I after that, I was like, all right. I now know for sure. I know for sure now. This is not. This is not the where I want to be. Yeah, but I have a ton of respect for people who play professionally because they put in a lot of work. It's a lot of time. Yeah, a lot of time, like, coming with strategies and executing it perfectly. And then, especially the IGLs. I can't imagine, like, IGLing and, like, leading your team and also playing at the same time. Yeah, that would be actually kind of crazy. Yeah. Okay. Finally, <clears throat> all the fans are in. Whew, that was a lot of work. So that's what the build looks like with all fans. Spike down B. Last player standing. I feel like that is not my favorite, but I'm trying to make this look better. Uh, is there a way to Oh, not really. Okay. There we go. Okay, so we'll tighten that down. And then we'll go from there. So what are some of the other modes that you play for uh, for fun? Like, you, you talked about Swift. You, is there another... Uh, is there other... Is this pretty much, like, kind of the only modes in... Um, there's another mode called Spike Rush, but okay. it, it's basically like Swifts, but they they choose the gun for you. Everybody has the same gun, um, and rounds go to four instead of five. But I don't think anybody really plays it now that this mode is out. Oh. Yeah. So it was like, was it a precursor to this current mode? Like it was uh, out I first? I think so, yeah. Spike planted. Oh, interesting. Did you play that one a lot before? Uh, I did a little bit. Um, I think it just wasn't as fun because I personally don't like using a good chunk of the guns. Oh, so the choices they made from a from a weapon standpoint were what you would pick necessarily. Last player standing. 
Okay, here we go. Did you win? No. There's four of them alive, eh? Oh, no, we. I just lost a knife fight. Okay, there's that. Okay, there we go. Let's get this last fan hooked up. So we got the fans hooked up. Now we just gotta run them and get them looking nice. We are definitely getting closer to finishing this build, which is good. All right, I'm gonna do the other mode, which is team deathmatch. Oh. This one is like, you, you've heard of like CS team deathmatch or deathmatch. I've, right? I've heard of deathmatch for sure. That's just like where you, yeah, that's like, it's all based on kills, right? Yeah, so it's for, they have a different version, which is team deathmatch, and this time, like, you spawn. It's basically like Apex Arena style. Um, you get to choose your own gun for certain phases, so there's, like, pistol phases, and then, like, econ guns, and then rifles, um, and then just, like, the first team to 100 kills wins. Right, okay. So it's like the OG, the the one that, you know, we essentially came up with. It's Halo. Mm -hmm. Basically, yeah. I, I have never played Halo, so I, I don't really know, but... Yeah, Halo was one of the original, the OG arena shooters. So mm -hmm. that's what. So it's actually kind of cool, right? To be a part, like it's like you know, I was part of making that mm -hmm. this genre of game. And then it, it evolved into here too. Yep, it's a yeah. It's like you you can see like the design decisions from you know working with people like Jason Statham and uh, sorry not Jason Statham <laughs> that would be pretty crazy uh, Joseph Statham who is the was one of the designers on Halo which is why it sounds a lot like Jason Statham but uh, yeah just a lot of those people who now have made uh, you know gaming what it is today which is actually pretty crazy. Okay, I'm gonna get this up and done. Just getting the last bit of cable management here finished. So team deathmatch, how long do these? So it's team to 100. It's like, what, five, six minutes? Somewhere around there, usually. Have you ever done, like, have you ever done, like, 10 and 90? <laughs> Honestly, thankfully, no. <laughs> Nothing, nothing close to that. Usually, um, it gets pretty even for it's, me. It's pretty, it's pretty like it's pretty sweaty. Yeah, I get even though this this game mode doesn't really matter. Like I get sweaty in this one. Right. <laughs> A little bit more than the other one. Yeah, because you respawn all the time, right? Yeah, you respawn. I think right when you die, but just in like the the spawn areas. OG Halo right here, guys. Reformatted. Do you have a favorite FPS game? Uh, I'd say my favorite FPS game right now is probably... Probably Apex. Or No, that's actually more third person. So I think FPS-wise... Dang, what is my favorite? I guess I have, to, I have to think about what like I've played... That's FPS. I mean, I play a lot, a lot more of the campaign ones than I actually play like multiplayer. Mm -hmm. I mean, don't get me wrong. Like, I, if I was gonna, like, I love the OG Halo games. Mm -hmm. um, and then, you know, I actually used to play um, like competitive uh, OG Halo um, back when you used to have to like travel and do stuff in lands and stuff like that. But um, I'd say Halo's pretty high up there. Like, um, I did enjoy Valorant. I did play a lot of Overwatch. Um, I think Overwatch 2 is just Overwatch again. Um, yeah. But I think, I mean, if I was going to go back and somebody's like, you have to put a, a gun to your head and you have to play, I'd probably play, I'd probably go back to Overwatch. I really actually did enjoy playing Overwatch. Mm. When did you um, stop playing Overwatch? Like, which, which characters came out, if you can remember? Actually, it was right when the hamster. But that was oh, the yeah. That was kind of the end of it for me. Like, it's not that I had any issue with the hamster, right? Like, it was just, like, about that time is, like, I just moved on. I move on to games. I'm, I, when I, for gaming, I'm a variety game streamer. Nice. Um, I mean, my games, like, my real, my games of choice are things like StarCraft, um, um, Hearthstone, 
um, Age of Empires, Rise of Nations, like more uh, RTS tile games, mm -hmm. um, which are the ones that I really, really enjoy. And those are like the ones that I worked on. Um, and the only two is you can be, well, I mean, you used to be able to be pretty good at those games. I also really like uh, um, Har um, Heroes of the Storm. I really like playing Dota. Ooh. So. Interesting. I have not played most of those games. They're, I mean, they're all, I mean, Dota and League are, you know, very much the same in terms of the same type of thing. And then going to Worlds and seeing that stuff. But the community is not the kindest. That's one of the things I really liked about uh, Heroes of the Storm is Heroes of the Storm, which is a Blizzard title, right? Like the community was pretty welcoming comparatively to other ones. But um, yeah. yeah, yeah. But I've played, I mean, I've been a gamer for... I think I got my first, my first gaming system was actually a PC, and uh, we're, I've been playing games since, like, back in, like, games like Red Baron and Stellar 7 and uh, Wing Commander and all these really, really OG titles, and then played games like Doom when they first came out and Wolfenstein 3D, and so, and, you know, when you were talking about games that you play with your dad, right, like, yeah, you know. Even it's kind of like my journey was kind of my parents did not play games, but they were totally supportive of it. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's nice, though. And then I became a game developer, which was cool. That's very cool. Okay, so we got all of that stuff in. Okay, all of our fans are hooked up. We're now at the point where we can actually just kind of finish this out. I'm going to put all I got to do is do cable extensions and then add our PSU, and then we will have you back here pretty soon to finish putting this the rest of this together. I need to see how this goes on here. There we go. Okay, that's fine. So that can go up like this and then it'll be fine. Okay, everything seems like it fits fine, which is good. Um Are you what what how many of you Oh, it's 40. Oh, that's actually you're Looks like you're 10 points ahead. 10 kills ahead right now. For now, usually these things can like turn around really quick. Yeah, they can, especially as teams warm up. Yeah. I will say there's definitely a warm up time for um, games like this for sure. Yeah, the traditional um, deathmatch that they had before this mode came out was like you had a warm up portion. So like oh, really? first. I think minute or two was warm up and it didn't count. And then after that, it was like first to 40. And then it got like super, that's, I mean, yeah. I think, I honestly, I think arena is super sweaty. Yeah. Okay, let's grab our cable extensions. Have you ever had like a sped run building of PC? Yes. Oh, really? Yeah, we actually did it uh, for an Intel thing. Uh -huh. And I had to do it while doing the hot chip challenge, too. Oh, wow. And then I, I think we did it in, I think the fastest I've ever done it is like 12 minutes. That's insanely impressive. That's probably how long it took for me to screw in like three screws. <laughs> <laughs> and we did it. And that was a lot of fun. And I actually had to race a guy whose job used to be just building PCs. So it was, it was actually a nice, nice little fun challenge. I ended up uh, still doing really, really well. Um, you know, it was like it was like basically if be building a PC was an eSport. That sounds intense, honestly. It was really fun. It was also very hot. And then I did something stupid and then like went and threw up afterwards because I like we just like ended up like eating the whole bag at the same time, which was dumb. And then, yeah. Oh, wow. Have you ever done the hot chip challenge? I have not. I've done the fire noodles, but I kind of eat the fire noodles like regularly. <laughs> So you're like, it wasn't really a challenge? Yeah, it was just spicy, but not like anything insane. Yeah, the stuff that like, there's like, I mean, we have this thing in Seattle called the uh, the man. And that's like stuff where it's like, you know, on the, um, the, the, oh man, what is the name of the scale? I just forgot the name of it for uh, measuring how, oh, Sco the Scoville. Like you're talking like super, super hot food mm -hmm. that it's like it hurts. It's not fun at all. Yeah. I don't like food that hurts. Now I you think like a little bit of hurt is nice. Yeah. But anything like is just hurt, that sucks. Are you, uh, are you, you said as a foodie, are you like, 
when you, as a foodie, do you try like certain kinds of food or are you just down to try everything? Have you ever done like Michelin star food before? Yes, I haven't gone to a, like an actual Michelin star rated, but I would love to go. I've done like food that's been recommended by people from Michelin stars, like the people that like review it. Um, but I don't know. I haven't found anything that I'm like, like a specific genre of food that I really, really enjoy. I think right now I'm like, I'm just down to try whatever I'm feeling at right. the moment. Yeah. You're not, you're not too terribly picky yet. Mm -hmm. Oh, that just came out. Okay. All right. We won. Yeah, you did it. Yay. We've been waiting for hours for this to happen. <laughs> Finally. She really she really is good. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe she is a legend. <laughs> what's the far what's the highest score that you've ever I mean like why the highest like tier you've ever gotten? This is a while ago. Like I would um I hit Immortal One, I think like a year ago. And back then like I would aim train every single day and like do death matches like three to four hours a day and now i just i just play so <laughs> i think it's just like way more intense back then and now i'm just kind of chilling what is the uh what's the highest tier i think radiant okay yeah and that's what we're hitting tonight yeah <laughs> it, it might be Couple of hours, maybe a couple of days. A couple of hours. <laughs> yes. Do you think you could ever grind it out? I just don't think I have like the enjoyment as much anymore. I think like originally playing this game, I wanted to hit like plat, platinum, and right. then I was happy. But then diamond came so fast, and then um, immortal was just like it just kept going. And then after immortal, it just kind of felt unachievable because i was doing so much already i think as you like get better at the game it kind of your your skill level plateaus so got it like, and you're gonna find out essentially where you're gonna have to stop yeah it's either you stop or you keep grinding it out i think it's always possible but it definitely gets harder as time goes on and like higher rank you get i thought like initial i started bronze one so i i initially thought that a lot of this stuff would just come naturally um but when you're in these games, you're like thinking the entire time and like you're very aware of all of these things. And it's honestly a little bit exhausting. Um, so I think I just hit a point where I was like, OK, I'm happy with the achievement I got. I don't need to like sacrifice so much to go that much higher. I can under I guess I can understand that. Right. Like eventually it comes down to it's like, what kind of player do I want to be? Right. And then where am I willing to? sacrifice and then what is it like and does it like it does it really achieve what i need it to achieve right like if it's yeah. if it was important to your your streaming career but it even sounds like in your streaming career you're trying to like you may you may change that have you ever have you ever tried to do irl streaming i have not i think it's it's it scared me a little bit um because i see like i think i liked having being able to have control over like what happens um, and I I've, I've seen a couple of instances where IRL streaming like you kind of lose that control. Um, I think that I anything IRL I would really like I really prefer doing like more curated content. So right so okay like vlogs or things like that. Um, and I have an editor for like my Valorant stuff, but all the IRL stuff that I do, I edit on my own because there's some stuff that like I don't want people seeing. Or, like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, and I, I can understand that, right? And if you were doing IRL, there might be you might could be at your worst or the one circumstance where something happens, and then you never know what the cost is. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I don't know. It, it's still, I mean, I think it would be fun to do like at like Twitch cons or anything like that. Speaking of that, have you ever done any cons? I have, I've gone to complex con, like just as a, as just someone that's regularly going. I haven't done any other cons yet though. Have you ever thought about doing like a Twitch con or? I did think about it. Um, I think the first year I, 
I bought a ticket but then didn't end up going and then this year I ended up going to Korea during um, TwitchCon so that didn't end up happening. Got it. Maybe next year. It's like every year another possible option. Mm -hmm. I went last year. I didn't go this year. Mm -hmm. how, how did you like it? Uh, I, I mean, it was fun because, like, we, you know, it was fun to get to. I usually go, like, and build PCs with everybody. Mm -hmm. So it was, And the other thing, too, that's actually just been doing the mod workshop and all the people we built PCs on from a creator standpoint, there's been a lot of people that we have uh, run into that, like, are people that I'm at, like, TwitchCon, like, running into, I don't know, a ton of Nicewig, Noko, who was on the show. We've had... Um, we had like ZHC, I mean, yeah, ZHC. We've just had so many, so many people that I've built PCs with that to go to TwitchCon is like a reunion. Because I mean, we've done the show. I mean, like we've done like, I don't know, at least 40, 46 episodes. No, oh, 20, wow. I don't know, number seven, <laughs> 74 episodes. We've done 74 <laughs> episodes. So that means we've done 74 PC builds for people on this. I like how it's like, what? I, that number seems so high. He's like trying to say, I was like, no, there's no way it could be that many. But yeah, yeah, you're right. 74 episodes, which is crazy. That is definitely a lot of PCs. And these are all people that are always, I mean, they're always creators like you. So when you go, and uh, I will tell you, man, there has been a really bad circumstance where somebody was like, hey, and then uh, like I found out, I was like, they were like, I was like, oh, I didn't remember building the PC with that person. Oh, no. And I was like, oh. I will. I have terrible memory, but I'll definitely remember this. <laughs> <laughs> it's my first time building a PC. There's no way I don't remember this. Yeah, my chat, my chat jokes around about me having very bad memory. Like I'll, I'll like say something or do something, and two seconds later they'll talk about it in chat, and I'm like, wait, what did I just do? <laughs> You're like, oh yeah. <laughs> like they'll, they'll have to clip it for me, and I'll have to watch it and be like, oh. Oh, okay. I did do that. Yeah, You're right. I did do that. I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> or like, I'll be so deep into a topic, and then I stop talking for a couple seconds, and then I completely forget the topic. And I think they're like talking about something else, and I'm like, what? Okay, get the phew. Okay, so we're getting very close to having you come back on. Not, not, you still got some time, but it's just like, I'm just on, I'm installing the PSU at this point in time. Yeah. So once that's done and I've got all that hooked up, then all we'll have to do is put in the, uh, the GPM. We'll call it a day. Sounds great. And, then... and Bob's your uncle. <laughs> I think, do we want to let chat decide what color we make the piece? No, in? that's your vote. I mean, I, I mean, it's up to you. Your call. You get to choose how we do it. But there's like 600 choices, so that could take a really long time. <laughs> we could do like, um, maybe just see which one we see in the chat the most. Yeah. It's your call. You, I will support whatever decision you make. Right. And know that no matter what you decide, it's wrong. <laughs> okay. Usually, um, I have like lights in the background of my stream, and I have like a channel redeem where people can change the colors. Change the there. colors. Yeah. yeah. So nothing, nothing crazy like a CPU giveaway, but it's something a little bit fun. No, it's always nice to have those interactions too, because then, you know, they feel invested, right? Mm -hmm. There's also um, a channel point redeem where you can give my my dog a Cheerio. Oh, it's really well. expensive, but I think it's worth. Yeah, because you do, you also don't want to make sure that the dog has too many Cheerios. Yeah. Because then you have a fat corgi. <laughs> we don't want his poor little little legs. He's already got a lot. He's got to carry around. Yeah. He's a big boy. The weight of my emotions. <laughs> He's my emotional support dog. Okay, now we just have the only thing we have left, the CPU. There we go. This I don't need. There we go. Those should be the last two. You're gonna, are you going to win two in a row, you think? I think if I turn it around right now. Oh, jeez. It's no, no. Do it. 
that would not be how to do it. I'm almost there. Well, we're not too far off, I don't think. You're 15 points away. Oh, it's getting closer though. Oh, dude, you guys just yeah. I mean, it can it can swing pretty heavily one way or the other, pretty fast. Hopefully, my team is is good enough, and maybe if I'm good enough. Yeah, I don't think this is gonna happen. It's getting a little too. They're starting to run away with it. Yeah. Oh yeah, 91.79. It's the 9-3 curse. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Still ten away. You can do it. Oh, they're two oh, away. Oh no, they're two away. A oh, one away. But you guys are you're catching up. Wait, I can't be the last one and I'm already I'm low. No. Oh. Almost turned it around. You guys did good. It was definitely closer than I kind of thought it was gonna go. <laughs> that wasn't like a dig, it was just like that was they were pretty far, you know. Yeah, they, they were they were very far ahead. They were they had like quite the distance away. Wait. Wasn't trying to so I think you have probably have time for one more game. Oh really? Yeah. I think you'll be that'll be perfect. How much money do you think um what's the most money that you've spent on a game? On the on a game? Yeah, like in game cosmetics or anything like that. Star Citizen? It's a game I haven't even played yet. And I've already spent like four grand. What? Yeah, so Star Citizen is a game, and it's it's actually the most expensive game in history. Um, and uh, yeah, it's uh, it's basically people buy ships. And when I started, you had to buy you 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 could buy in and help um, help him raise money to make the game. Mm -hmm. And I and I have yet to play it. Um, I know, but yeah, just ships. There's ships in that game that cost like. 2400 bucks you know what i mean oh, wow and so i and like it's funny because i was like pretty proud of my collection and then my nephew came over and he's like i mean my yeah my nephew came over and he's like oh these are okay ships and i was like dude those are 3600 dollars, you know in ships so yeah that's probably the most i've ever spent in a game yeah i i think i've spent a grand on skins on valorant but it's not as cool as like investing into somebody who's making a game. The game, like it is a very popular game. Um, it's done, Chris Roberts, who's done a, a bunch of other games. He worked OG creator way back in the day. Um, yeah. There's actually quite a lot of people who build, I mean, who've played it. It's a space game that's like lets you kind of do whatever you want. Um, and so um, I got into it because um, the guy, who's not, uh, the guy Mark Hamill, his, who is also Luke Skywalker in Star Wars, oh. like he was an actor in the original Wing Commander Three and stuff like that. So it was, uh, it's just been a game that we, that I've been looking forward to in forever, and it's just been, yeah, yeah. Some point in time, That's I'll play cool, it. Cool, yeah. Has anybody else? I mean, let, let's just do a raise a hand. Who else has heard of Star Citizen? I mean, I know there's got to be some people who've heard of it. I don't know how we, I don't know where chat actually is in terms of, I think we got a little bit of a delay in chat right now, so I don't know. Do you, that we might be way far away from finding out when, if anybody's heard of it, because chat I think is a little bit delayed, but maybe. Okay. Okay, so I'm on the last bit of cable management here. For this build. Okay. Dude, this one's already looking a little bit better. People are giving you uh, love for um, basically the uh, how well you're actually able to listen and play the game at the same time. I do this pretty often. Um, usually, like I, I say hi to people in between like deaths, or people will ask me questions like, "Oh, how do you?" balance streaming and um, content creating and I'm just like I just go on a spiel so this is not too too foreign for me fortunately uh, your team is doing really well right now mm -hmm. I'm not really doing much but that's okay and sometimes it's I mean it might you might just have like really cracked teammates they can carry me
Yes, Squadron 42 is the like is the um, single player game for Star Citizen. So, people in chat talking about it now. There we go. Come on. Get in there. Do your due diligence. Okay, there's that. The only thing I have left is CPU and then we'll run our GPU cable. Anyone else? Anyone else? Your guys are your teammates are pretty quiet. Uh I think they started talking a little bit and it scared me and I muted. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't sound very, very nice. You're like, we're going to keep it family friendly. Yeah, just just in case. Maybe people are feeling... Sometimes, like, some days I get really nice people and then other days it's, like, the exact opposite. Um, so it just really... It really depends. So somebody was asking me, guys, questions, do I play EO online? If you guys... If you want to know if I know EVE Online, look up Rona and Roby1, and you will find that I was legendary in EVE. Ran the largest corp in that game, started the what was became Bob and then Moo, and um, yeah, no, I, uh, I, I ran, like when 0, 0.0 Space first came out, we had one of the first stations. I ran one of the biggest alliances in the game, was on the, yeah, no, I was hardcore EVE. And then I had to quit because it was like a second job while I was working at Microsoft. Oh I was like, nope, this is this is not gonna work. So no, I uh, I played a lot of Eve Online. But yeah, just look up Rona and Roby One. I don't know if it's still that way. It used to be that way. I don't know, dude. Eve has been around so long. I don't even know if it's that news is still there. I actually wrote for IGN for Eve Online. So it was fun. Okay, let's think about the best way to run this cable. <clears throat> yeah, it's Eve is all consuming, yep. Yeah, I took my gaming very seriously. I also played World of Warcraft since since OG, like Vanilla WoW. Have an unopened collector's edition Vanilla CE, like. That's very impressive. I think I went to the esports Hall of Fame in Korea, and like seeing they had like a whole it's like a little museum exhibition. Right. And there was like a whole timeline for even for like World of Warcraft and all those things and I was like I didn't realize because I don't know much about esports right um prior to streaming so seeing all of that I was like I didn't know it it went that deep oh yeah I mean it was like OG Starcraft right like yeah, in yeah. Korea and dude it was bonkers it's actually crazy I think I saw like a, a f I don't remember what game it was but they signed a Korean flag one of the players and they were like um, this championship is ours, like, before they even won, and they ended up winning. <laughs> I was like, that's... That's actually a legendary piece. Dude, Korea, I mean, StarCraft, in a lot of ways, is what started modern-day esports. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I, you could also say, like, back when um, uh, Doom and those guys, like, we had it in the U.S. and QuakeCon and things like that, but the arena-based... Um, arena-based... Esports, that was really Korea yeah. starting the whole thing. Their impact was actually like going to the events. I, would, I just made esports feel very baby here in NA. Yeah, it was funny because we used to have Worlds, Dota Worlds, which I mean, the largest paying esport prize pool in the, in the world, right? And we used to have it in Seattle. So we oh. used to get to go to it all the time at Key Arena. 
um, which was pretty cool. Maybe I should put Seattle into my, my travel list. Yeah, you should. Seattle's awesome. Just go, like, June through, like, June through, like, September, October. Does it get hot over there? Not really, no. But that's not something we have an issue. It's just, we get, we get, it just gets gray. Oh, like very stormy? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, sometimes the heat over here makes, makes life really hard. <laughs> Like I'm drowning in my own sweat sometimes. Well, yeah, Bob got to. Yeah, Bob started because of Ro uh, because of Rona and uh, KIA and all that stuff. For like basically when we started that, and then Bob started. Um, yeah, it was, and then Goon Swarm came out of that. But I I still have my character. I, I haven't like it still has like old school freaking um, <laughs> ships and all that sort of stuff. So I have like an OG Eve character. Um, out wow. there. Okay, now we have. So you can be done. So why don't we? Here's what we're gonna. Here, <laughs> wow, she's like yes, yes. So what we're, we're gonna do, guys? We're gonna take a quick five minute break. We're gonna come back. We're gonna put in the GPU and then turn this thing on and go from now. And uh, so we'll see you guys in just about. Okay, never mind. You're always as good as your last race. So if you win, it's amazing. Then the next race, you start again from zero. You have to perform again and again and again. Always, you have to be at your best. My name is Richard Fersher. I'm driving for Trident Motorsport in the Formula 2 Championship. I started racing because of my father. He was always working very hard. So when I woke up uh, to go to school, he was already at work. And when I went to bed, he wasn't even back from work. So I never really got to spend time with him. To do a little bit more of that, he bought me a go-kart of my ninth birthday. We started to go to karting tracks indoor and outdoor as well. That's how I rolled into racing. This is the breaking point, huh? The team is extremely important. We do it all together. If they don't put the fuel, if they don't put on the tires, I won't drive. All the calculations, all the work in the factory to set up the car, to talk with myself and the team about the setup. Everything is done together. Of course, in the moment when the lights go out, I have to perform by myself. But without my team, I would not be able to win races. <laughs> 